All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Let's get it uh, going. Going to be playing some old FFA, and uh, I'll be opening up with a game tonight. Been playing a lot of 1v1 offline. It's been fun. Trying to sharpen the old battle axe again for the upcoming expansion. Going uh, to be seeing if we can get Conqueror again. Should be fun. All right, Turin FFA is going to be the game name, and anybody is welcome to join. First come, first serve. And remember, if you play in one, you're not going to be playing in the second one. All right, so I want to open with an island FFA again. I think it's pretty darn fun, so we're going to try that. And then we'll do a land-based FFA, and uh, we'll be good from there. Anthony, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right. Cute kitty, super munchkin, sigh. Nomad in here. Right on, right on. We got the whole crew. And the old Wookiee. All right, so we're going to do an island one out of the gates. Let's see what people pick. We see two dreaded Chinese players. Have fun. And set no teams. And we'll get it going. The challenger gatekeeper must return. It's true. Somebody has to lurk in the pits of the lowest tier of challenger to make sure that we keep uh, only, the, only the, the valiant contenders forth, right? All right. So it looks fine. And uh, Sai seems to have left. Okay. We got one spot. Not sure where Sai went. But we'll see if they come back. Yes. We're going to do land too. This is just going to be opening up with the island first, and then we're going to do land after that. So don't you worry. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for the new civs. I'm excited for the expansion. I mean, it's... Uh, so we're getting, what, two new civilizations. We're getting the Byzantines and the Japanese, and then we're getting a bunch of uh, variant civilizations, which is pretty cool. Even though they'll just be kind of minor nuances of the current civs, it's still great. All for, what, 14 bucks? I mean, when you look at that compared to what CA re recently did with the Total War DLC, I mean, come on, you can't even compare the two. It's just, uh, it's it's insane. Oh, wait, is he back yet? We gotta wait till he's back. Okay, let me know when you're back, dude. Speaking of water maps, yeah, we can, we can host that today, too. We can do that arena. Okay, somebody left. Seems that everybody who joins this slot is cursed and they just leave. Okay, so we need one. Uh, we can set observer with like a three minute, no, yeah, like a five minute delay or something. It's fine. That is fine. All right, one spot left, guys. One spot is open. Sai so left for dinner. He said he will try for the next one. Sounds good. All right, we got one spot though. One spot open. And we got the Hobbit Strife in here. All right. Looks like they need to set no team and pick their sieve, and then we will fire this off as soon as they do that. All right, they're going to go random, it looks like. Yep. All right. Fire it up. Oh, no, they went English at the last second. Sounds good. So we got Roos, Mongols, Random, China, Double English, HRE, and it looks like another Roos player in the old Wookiee. I like Roos a lot on these maps. Golden Gate's a great landmark. It allows you to trade your food for gold in late game and then filter that into wood, depending on the situation you're in. Oh, man, Byzantines and Japanese are going to be super fun, for sure. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I saw the, uh, the Flamethrower Rams. They have a ram that apparently has like a flamethrower attached to it. It's pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Uh, isn't Byzantine the Eastern Roman Empire? Uh, I suppose so, yeah. yeah. I suppose it would be the kind of the Eastern legacy of that. All right, so loading it up here. Rus, Mongols. Oh, there's some Malians too. Malians don't do bad here. I feel like Malians are a decent water sieve. You can set up the toll posts along the uh, naval routes and actually get your trade going that way, which is pretty cool. English is obviously pretty good. You can slap down Barkshire Palaces on your island, and it's really, really tough to push you. Same with HRE. You can do that and put a relic in your uh, L's back, and it gives you a really good defensive position on your island. So we will see what this looks like. And then we'll be doing another one where I'll play a land FFA, and then I'm thinking we'll try and do three today. Uh, you know, started a little bit earlier, and we can do the uh, we can do a casted one, which would be great. So we'll uh, close out maybe with a Whirlpool or something like that. One of the custom maps that we have in our community. The dreaded Super Munch can load time. And Nomad, they're duking it out to see who can load last. Looks like uh, Nomad's going to win that race. Yeah, four is it four variants in total? Yeah, I know there's like the Order of the Dragon. There's um, the Jade the Jade something, I think, which is like one of the Chinese ones. You have the Sultan's Army and then Joan of Arc. Is that what it is? Hey, thank you. Thank you, Peeling. Appreciate it. Can you play Ottomans? I don't know how to play them, but I, I would happily play Civ. I don't know how to play an FFA. Sure, I, I can play them next game, potentially. They seem cool. You know, the Great Bombards. You really need to get trade going with them, though, for sure. All granted, you do get free units the entire game with your military schools, which is rad. So you don't have to worry so much about, uh, you know, buying gold intensive units in the late game. You could just be pumping out Janissaries or Knights or whatever it's going to be. Yeah, we'll see. 
Munchkin super slow loading. Hey, Munchkin's trying, you know. They're trying. They're getting in there. Uh, the new sibs, I believe, are coming on, is it November 14th? I think. It's like it's not too far off now. It's it's getting there. All right. Oh, wrong button. Okay, my keyboard's a little bit out of position there, but that's okay. Let's do this. Cool. And uh, yeah, we might as well just go explore our island here. All right. Outstanding. Did I just accidentally slam some villagers in there? I did. Lovely. Good thing it's not an actual game. I mean, it's an FFA, so it's not like a competitive 1v1 is essentially what I was trying to say. Uh, hunting cabins, we need to get some of those bad boys set up. And bounty is not going to be great here. That's one of the downsides of the roost on this old map. And hunting cabin, we'll scout a little bit first and see where like the ideal spots are. We don't want them near the coastline because on the coastline they can get bombarded and we can pay the troll toll pretty hard. All right, so we need to get fishing going as soon as possible. All right. Looking good. Probably one more on the sheep here. We should have at least a deer camp on our island, right? Yeah, I was going to say there's got to be at least one. We need to get a transport ship quickly and go steal bounty from other people's islands, actually. So we're going to do that real quick here and see if we can uh, get a little bit of that sweetness going. I believe everybody is kind of like in a corner on this map or is like, you know, up against the back here. So that's that's good. All right, deer camp. Yes, I see some good hunting cabin spots as well. But we're going to load up this bad boy on uh, on a ship like right away and go see if we can find people's uh, people's bounties on their island because otherwise we're going to be stuck in the pits in regards to bounty. All right, let's go scout back here. And we know what our island looks like. Okay. Very cool. Doc's coming up in a second. We'll slap down some hunting cabins back here. Get some of that sweet roost gold. Have you stopped playing Age of Wonders 4? Oh, I might get back to it. Yeah, I'll probably do another stream with Professor Pwn one of these days. The old Pwn dog and I duking it out once again. Alrighty, so that's good. We can't take a villager, but I think we're okay here. Is that a... Oh, there's a boar. Okay. Which is a boar on our island. So there's that, and then one relic is usually the, uh, the nature of the beast here. So we can take a little bit of a late age up here, obviously. Slap that down. Have you do this. Let's come here and let's uh, let's go bounty hunting. <laughs> All right, so deep sea fish. Uh oh, are we gonna get the food turned in here in time? Maybe. Okay, so we will explore our first island here, see if we can find any bounty and see who our neighbor is. <laughs> I love it, just like the haggard uh, landing force here. Let's maneuver you around the side. Where's your deer at, buddy? I know it's here somewhere. I know he's he's got the deer on the island. Okay, there's his poor. We're definitely going to come for those boars later. Okay, we're just exploring. We got the old Wookiee here. It looks like he's a little ahead of me. I did screw up with my workers in the beginning, so we're a little bit behind because of that. But it's all good. Ah, I found his deer. <laughs> I love how haggard. No, he denied me the deer. You villain, dude. Look at this. How dare he? How dare he, dude? We were we were ready for that, man. Okay, well, I'm out of here now, dude. You've you've ruined all the fun. All right, so next up, let's go get some hunting cabins. We can slap them right here, next to the boar. Probably a good idea, dude. He denied me, dude. He denied me so hard. I was coming for that, but he uh, he shut it down. Let's go see what we got in this corner. All right. <laughs> We're making our rounds, trying to get some bounty. This is some kind of high speed. Did I take my, oh no man, no. Dude, you should have seen me back when I used to drink coffee. It was, uh, I, I, saw, I didn't stop drinking coffee with Chucks, but it makes my hands hurt, dude. I don't know what it is with that, but it's, it's weird. Oh, yes, the deer are over there. Yes, precious. Give it to me. All right, so let's get this deer. Got to take the freebies where we can. Get a couple of you guys jumping over here. Looking good so far. And uh, yes, yes. Cool, man. Can update that. Do a little bit of this. We're going to break 100 bounty, which is outstanding. Cool. Almost enough to age up. We got the hunting cabins, which are going to start generating us some nice gold. People are reaching feudal age. Earlier than me, obviously. All right, now we keep going. We just like circle around the island. Look for the goodies. Okay, 
That's good. About to age up here in a second. We need probably need more boats. Kremlin is an interesting one. But the Golden Gate, I think, is too valuable on island maps to skip. I think you don't have too much of a choice in that regard. You can set up another hunting cabin down here. Those are actually pretty good hunting cabin spots. Yeah, Sacreds will have wolves, but the deer, deer are pretty easy here. Okay. Let's get you back here. Do this. Now you guys can go ahead and build the Golden Gate. Outstanding. People are probably thinking there's like an invasion coming. <laughs> And there's just a Saggard scout like lands on their coast. All right, let's go see what's up here. So this is Evans. Holy shit, people are really ahead of me in the fishing game. I need to I need to step it up. The hunting cabins have been costing me a little bit. All right, where's your deer at, buddy? I know it's here somewhere. Hunting cabins, giving me gold, giving me gold. The Emperor of Mankind, thanks for becoming a channel member. Greatly appreciate it, man. Ah, looks like he already got the deer. All right, so we're out of here for now. Let's set up a second dock to make sure we don't like kind of get stifled on the water too hard. So Red is here. Emperor, thank you for becoming a channel member. Never did I think the uh, the uh, father of the Primarchs here would become a channel member, but we'll take it. Okay, let's get out of here. Do this. People are reaching feudal age now. I'm very slow, but I took a very greedy start, like setting up these hunting cabins and you know doing all that sort of good stuff. Yeah, sure, you can work on that. All right, let's go to the middle. Let's take this guy back and go colonize one of the Middle Islands. I think we've done enough trundling about trying to get what we can. Um, we'll definitely set up something to go... We could just go take all the boars on people's islands, too. That wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, so that's giving me 35 minutes. That's giving me a fair amount. This one's going to give me a decent amount, too. Okay. We probably want to make sure to gather a little bit of stone so we can upgrade our docks. I don't know if we're getting attacked yet. No, it looks like it's just HRE. Just chilling over there, just doing some scouting. All right, so it doesn't look like too many people are colonizing the main islands yet, which is uh, nice, because we will. Cool. Go, go fishing fleet. And now we have the good old Golden Gate, which we can use to get our second TC on the island. Wheelbarrow, 35, 35, 21. Um, we have more opportunities up here, so let's go slap one like right there. That's gonna be good. And here we go, baby. Let's get it going. Probably build the high trade house, to be honest. I think we do that. Because um, that will make sure we uh, get, reach our maximum bounty. I think that's the smart play. Alright, now we can get a dock set up here. Let's do this. Get the broad axe, which is super important on water maps. Okay, it's not enough stone to upgrade those goodies yet, but we have you, and we'll get a knight out, because that will allow us to take down the boar. Let's get eco upgrades, be a little bit greedy here. And just in case we get invaded, let's go ahead and set up a tower here. I think that'd be smart. Oh, island FFAs are really fun. I think they make for some really interesting uh, interesting dynamics. Uh -huh. Could do a little walling here. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it quite yet. What we can do is set up a tower up there if we, if we really want. All right, so we'll get the knight in there. When he arrives, we can take off. It's not the best hunting cabin in the world, but something. And uh, let's set up a little tower here just to kind of keep tabs, see if there's any invasions coming. And uh, we do have a fishing boat literally stealing our fish. Let's get the upgrade there. That's like our only food at the moment. It, it uh, actually is our only food. <laughs> there you go, Emperor. All right. So, do we have enough stone for this yet? Uh, we're not being attacked at the moment, but there always there always is that, that chance of us getting karate chopped. Let's go ahead and keep sending guys over here. Oh, wow, somebody reached Castle Age. I believe that's an HRE player, so that makes more sense. All right, let's grab you guys. Go to the middle. Yes, yes. And uh, we need to go set up a little colony if we can. Let's buy some stone. Should be able to get there. We got the crew going. Now we can just kind of tech up the Castle Age, basically. Yeah, and that's going to be that. Deep sea fishing, save the stone. And we want eight villagers so we can build a landmark, although the high trade house would be best back here. So, yeah, I guess we'll build our imperial landmark in the middle. That'll probably be the game plan. And uh, this guy can go do battle with the mighty boar and see if he can win. I'm pretty sure a knight will beat a boar one-on-one, -on -one, although it is an early knight, so let me see. Let me look at the stats of this old hog. Yep, looks like we'll win. All right, people reaching castle age. I'm definitely behind in that regard. 
But it's okay. We're taking it kind of slow here. Uh, let's sell some food. Yeah, we'll be able to age up here pretty quick. Okay, so let's do this. Set up in TC right here. Keep these guys there. Pull back. Knight is battling the boar. Now we grab a handful of you guys. Although we can go grab our gold bills and do this. I believe the... Go, uh, yeah, that's going to be the best spot for it. I, I don't believe it stacks with the other one. I'm a little bit out of, out of date on that knowledge. If it does, then we can just, uh, we obviously can just delete the other hunting cabin. Do you guys know if it does? Yeah, I don't know. Like, cause does it, does it have that, like, does it actually stack with the other hunting cabins? Let's go explore this island here and see what's up, by the way. We want to set up another tower to make sure we're safe here. And uh, that will give us a nice presence on the island for sure. Yeah, man, you're live here on the stream. We're doing it. Okay, so we see that. Um, we got our relic on our main island, obviously. Holy oh, shit, the war junk's attacking us here. Okay, it's getting a little bit crazy. We gotta watch out for that. A little bit scary. Don't need to delete the hunting cabin, thanks. I wasn't sure. It's It's been a while since I've, uh, I've used those bad boys, so. All right, so very slow age up. Can certainly feel it in my bones. Let's grab you guys and do this. Set up this. Just to make sure in case we get attacked here, we can build up a military. In our main island, I'm thinking about just doing a big wall off for now. Yes. 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 Oh, look at us, dude. We're like Picasso here. <laughs> and I believe we just need a little bit more and we should be fine. All right, so the age up will be catching up to us soon. How are we looking here? Pretty good in the food department with just the dreaded roost fishing fleet. Uh, I don't think anybody's attacking us quite yet. Securing a nice little uh, foothold here on the island. Get some of you guys on wood too. And uh, let's go explore. Yeah, so we got the big walls being built. That's going to give us a little bit of defense in case somebody tries to land on us quickly. All righty. Let's do that, and we can set up another uh, little tower over here to kind of secure some ground. And we've now aged up, which is good. So hopefully those guys can just collect bounty back there. All right, so on this island, get that set up so we can grab whatever relics we can see. It's going to be pretty important, obviously, and then we can build one on the main island here, with which we can store all the goodies. Get our knights upgraded, get the fishing upgrades, probably want to get the naval upgrades. It's gonna, it's gonna be a thing soon. We're probably gonna get attacked sooner than later. We'll get the uh, naval emplacement here. Okay, let's go over here, hammer this guy down, and you grab this relic if you can. It's probably gonna be gone by the time we get there, you know, but we might as well try. Um, nothing too crazy. It looks like we do have a roost neighbor on that side here. And now we can just go here and trade a bunch of food out. Do this, set up the double blacksmith so we can get the nice upgrades going. Call it a day. It's a great island for hunting cabins, by the way. Definitely a lot of potential there. So Chad Skya Tower is going to go in the middle. We're going to set that up right over here. Okay. Grab this and go back. We're going to be Imperial pretty soon here. We just need to save up a little bit more gold. Are we being attacked? Is that is that one of theirs? Oh my god, look at this, it's so troll. Right before our guy gets there, he, he grabs it. Let's see if we can get in the tower get a couple shots. Probably gonna Wolo Lois here. Um, okay, so we need to pull you guys back here, and this is why I build those little naval emplacements. Did we get him? Looks like we might. Oh, he's being attacked by someone, not sure who. Alright. So you guys in the meantime, let's set up the Chad Sky Tower. We'll just do that right there. And it looks like we did get the relic. Outstanding. So let's go drop that off there. And then he's going to get that one. Okay. A little bit of aggression coming. Walls for the wall god. Yeah, I know. It's true. It is true indeed. All right. So it looks like there's a little spring all tower over there that doesn't want us around. And uh, I think we need to get a lot of these. Obviously, Roost Cavalry are very good. Can be countered by you know spears pretty effectively, but... We need to make sure we have a presence in case we get invaded so we can start building up our military right away. And it looks like the walls are still going, which is good to see. So we got two relics. Not great. You know, it's better than nothing. All right. And you, buddy. 
Saw a little bit of craziness up there. And here, are we still producing villagers? We're not, but we should. I think we got our two relics. That's pretty much what we're going to get. There's not going to be any more treats other than that. All right, so you guys just chill out by the Chadskaya. So Chadskaya is here. Wood is like the most important resource to gather. It's very important. Gold, we are now Imperial. So we'll get our Knights upgraded. Golden Gate, we should probably start saving charges for that. These guys need to go fishing. There's got to be some more deep sea fish up here. Looks like there is. Okay, um, you guys, I think we need gold a little bit right now. Chad Sky will protect those as well. So if our main island gets swept for some reason, let's say somebody comes in with like an MLG invasion, we're gonna be we're gonna be ready for it now. So we need to give Boyar's fortitude. Okay, I see the Bow Chad sailing nearby. Definitely not liking that. Um, it looks like they're kind of like eyeing somebody else though. Let's come down here and see if we can jump on these deep sea fish. I was thinking of doing an invasion soon. I'm not sure of who, but I was thinking it needs to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and get the upgrades. You need to get the cannon upgrade. That's going to make our warships actually feasible. And then we call it a day there. Yeah, throw a spring in placement there in case somebody lands. How are you guys all doing today? Hope you're doing well. Wookie is often diplomatic but greedy player if you take... Yeah, no. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Everyone's got their play styles. All right. And Boyars. Yes. The dreaded supply block of the gods. Okay, that should handle that so we don't have to worry about that bullshit anymore. Okay, and then we need to get some walls so we can actually escape our own settlement. Do this. Get uni so we can get the biology upgrade to make our horses that much better. The axe upgrade, which is rad. And yeah, so far so good. You know, so far so good. Let's throw down a couple more like towers around here. See if we can secure. I don't want to take the sacred site. It's going to make me public enemy number one. Um, I do see Bao Chad sitting off my coast, which I don't like. But um, there's not a whole lot I can do about that right now. All right, you guys come over here. Jump on the stone. Uh, a keep in our main base would probably be very smart. Channel your energy dandy until the cows come home. Yeah, you just sit. You want me to just camp out here and chill? Hey, Matt, thank you for the donation. Okay, that's not gonna fly. Holy shit, okay, there's like a whole empire down there. Jeez. Alrighty, so now we need to probably get more fishing. And then we need to get that. And uh, what are the upgrades? It's incendiary, spring old ships. Yeah, that helps too, okay. Probably turn a bunch of these into attack ships now. That's gonna be pretty expensive, but I think we can afford it. Ooh, I don't know if we're going to be able to win against this Chinese Doom Fleet. Looks like they're taking down one of my neighbors here, which is okay. But we're about to have a pretty mean little fleet ourselves. But I, I have to fight them because I can't let them... I can't let them just basically... Oof, yeah, that's a lot. I don't know if we can win against these Jads. Okay, so we're going to turn all these into attack ships and just replenish our... We have plenty of food, right? Food isn't really a problem. He's some sweaty scooting and shooting here, but it's fine. We should be able to get him. Don't want him to get too close to my lines. All right, let's uh, take down some of the deer here if we can. And then you guys take down some of the deer. We're trying to get to the next bounty threshold. Okay, gather up. Let's get you guys into attack ships. Turn around, fight. Get more upgrades. And overall, it seems like it's going well. Although that's a big fleet, Jesus, man, that is a that is a heavy hitter. It's a thick, thick little navy there, but we can chase them down. Hopefully, win that fight. Okay, make sure to focus fire. Get these coming up as demo ships. Our navy's being diminished a little bit, but it, it's fine. Seems like it's a pretty even little fight. Overall, but the problem is I don't have too many docks. I need to get more because I can't produce an AV at an efficient rate. Very Bronzodia. Thankfully, I do have the home field advantage, though. So. All right, so let's pull back. I don't know why you are a transport ship. Nobody's really landing on our shores, so we're fine. I wonder if they'll keep pressing. I wonder if it's worth it for them. Okay, so let's get you here. Yep, looks like they're running away now, which is good. And uh, yeah, we're A-OK. -okay. Oh shit, I just pulled a ton of villagers onto that. I have no idea how that happened, but we're not gonna ask any questions. 
All right, so in the middle, hitting the gold pretty hard. Um, upgrades are coming along well. Uni, I want to get this and this. Those are the two upgrades for now. Let's those get fully upgraded before we get distracted by other things. So cute kitty must be to the north of me. Um, explosive ships, yes. And this is, what is this upgrade here? Cool. Make some galleys so we can take down those ships. Team is fine. That's a big scary navy though, man. That's very, very frightening. Thunderbolts and lightning, indeed. Okay, we're going to set up a tower here. Or not a tower, but a keep. We have a nice uh, position on the center of the island, I would say. Can we get through here? No, we can't. Okay, let's have a gatehouse. And we can do that. Hunting Cabin's giving us 260 a minute, so like our, our passive gold income is actually very respectable. Very respectable. I think we're just going to go into Navy for now. We, we have to be able to fend off these Chinese fleets. Okay. As much as I didn't want to, I wanted to do some landing, but with China like threatening like this naval pressure here, uh, we need to be back in healing. Food isn't amazing. It looks like a little bit of raiding on our houses. Lovely. Oh, we can come back here and set up some more. Our navy's good. I don't know if we can take that, though. That's a pretty freaky navy. We do have the keep shooting. Let's go. If the keep is fighting, let's go assist it. Okay, pulling back. We don't need to fight until we have everything we want. Okay, he lost the bow, Chad, which is very expensive. Nomad, we beefing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Looks like there is, uh, as they would say, beef going on. Kill the demo ships if we can. Focus those, focus those. Alright, cool. We can send forward our demo ships. See what kind of micro they got. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, nice demo ship there. Wood's going to become a problem soon. Might need to trade for some with our high trade house to keep our navy going. Let's scoot and shoot. Looks like we won that fight. Overall, I think we did. Let's chase. Uh-huh, and uh-huh. Yep, let's hunt him down. Yeah, I need to get the gunpowder upgrade for sure. Okay, let's go. Let's go push the advantage here. I want to do do an invasion, but I'm. I guess we just have to crush some uh, some enemies at sea here. Nobody's dead yet, actually. Believe it or not. Oh wow, we actually had a pretty crushing defeat of that that navy there. I, I was not expecting the Roost navy. I guess is pretty damn underrated, isn't it? All right, so let's uh, push into the waters here. Oh, unfortunately, that demo ship's gonna just die for no reason. Let's get you guys going, go up here, start hitting some of the food. Focus fire the big ships that are left alone. We need to gather up our forces again. Alright. Yeah, wood's going to become very tight here soon too. I would imagine he's probably hurting for wood also. Let's take down this other demo ship. I might have gotten in range, I'm not sure. See if they're, they're paying attention here. Slide in our own little demo ship. No, it hit. Wow, yeah. Must have a really good eco. They're able to rebuild super well. So now we just pull back. We got to regroup. They've, they've now got the momentum on us. And uh, let's slap down another keep right here if we can. Because that's where a lot of the fighting is happening in these like little peninsulas and stuff. So if we can get like a keep. I would like to focus. Like this is a not a good drain of our resources, you know. Like we could be landing and taking people's bases out and shit. But that's not what's going down here. It keeps coming up. Hopefully it finishes. We'll see. Oh, wow. That killed that keep quick. God damn. I was not expecting that. Okay, yeah. Those chads are no joke. Are they Mongol chads? I think they're Mongol chads. I seriously doubt anybody has any naval trade at the moment either. We're having to, like, spend everything right now. To just get over there. Mmm, big numbers. Big numbers. We gotta pull back. Their fleet is very strong. We don't have any static defenses, really. Gonna lose a couple houses here, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, 
Okay, let's try and uh, pick them off when they're isolated here. The dreaded fishing boat screen will come. Okay. Looks like they are back for now. Let's grab you guys, come over here. Try and get that keep set up again. And, uh, cool. Yeah, we're gonna need to find some food here, guys. Might even have to resort to farms since we're having to spend like all of our all of our stuff here on the old uh get some more fishing boats coming out. Ah, oh, right as I right as I build it, they're back. Okay, let's save the resources here. Okay, let's attack. Thankfully this keep here should be pretty resilient. Making fishing ships now, trying to get my eco going again. There goes nothing. Gonna hit some of my boats in the front, which is okay. Okay, pull back here. Then we got that. That Chinese Navy is, uh, or those bow chads are scary. Okay, let's see what we can do here. This is kind of our, our game plan. Because our Navy's obviously going to falter. We're going to lose this fight. Uh huh. Go this way. Let's make more of these down here. Okay. A little bit of fun. Let's do this, pull down here. So we obviously have lost the Navy. Like, there's no way we're winning that against those Chads. Okay. Let's do a little battle here. Oh, wow, they actually have a good army on the ground, too. I'm surprised to see that. So we're going to have to re, re, like, reset up our navy somewhere. We've completely lost the coastline, basically. Although our knights did pretty well. They actually bashed a lot of those guys. Because yeah, our knights are fully upgraded. You know, fully upgraded roost knights are pretty scary. Okay, so the invasion force has done work. We have some random units coming out here. Let's get this. Uh, probably a cannon tower is better. Cool, so diving is going into the base, a lot of raiding going down. We've lost our coastline, to be expected, against the dreaded uh, Bao Chad Navy. They must have trade going somewhere, I would wager. Yeah, a lot of villagers going down. Okay, let's do this. Let's set that up over there. Pull you back there to go after this. Those are Chinese palace guard. Probably not super upgraded, I would imagine. Let's pull back and defend that. And cool. Keep on the shores fighting. Can we get repairs on it? Maybe. It's probably toast. I don't think we can actually keep that thing alive, but, you know, the press in this base here is good. Okay. Need you guys to finish this first, please. Cool. Couple random dudes here. Let's pull back, get some houses going. Got 23 idle vills. Let's get you guys chopping away there. Oh, uh, we need the keep to finish, actually. That's gonna be pretty big. Come on, finish, keep, finish, finish, finish. There we go. Alright. See you guys garrison up. Couple random villagers going down here and there. Ain't nothing to worry about. Okay, so let's set all these up, if possible, get a cannon tower. Those can go over here. It looks like there's a the navy trying to squeak away over there. Mm. On the wood, you guys do this. Is there any more gold nodes on the island? There might be some up here. But gold's going to become a very sparse resource here very soon. Go forth, my knights. Go forth and prosper. 
He's probably building a pretty respectable little army here, I would wager. Alright, let's shoot that if we can. Wow, that, that thing is still killing his navy there. It's pretty funny. He's just 82 on wood. Can we squeak over and get some gold here? Is that possible? Let's see if there's any gold there that's to be taken. Alright, guys. Let's go. Let's get it. We do have this gold here still. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Looks like most of the resources on the island have been accounted for. So we gotta just we just gotta play uh play differently here. Okay, a couple of units moving up. You guys go after the market. Let's pull the elite knight back. Alrighty, so from here. Do this and this. You guys go after the marketplace. You start shooting this. Burning oil. We have a little bit of a, a trade embargo on us at the moment, which is kind of funny. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What the hell is this? Oh, we're getting invaded hard here. We're going to get pushed off the island, probably. Although, we do have Chad, Chad Skaya. Oh, never mind. But there's like 50 trebs there. Okay, so that's a really unfortunate timing for us. Like, we're in the process of probably winning this fight. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if it's going to matter. There's a hell of a lot of guys there. Okay, so we hit the TC a little bit. Most of that army could go down here. Do this, keep cannonballing. This is really bad. There's just this random Rus army of the old Wookiee just landed behind us. Uh, do we have some troops here? We have some. We could maybe do a little sneak, sneak attack. So let's take you guys down here. If we can knock down the Trebs, we're probably stable. But this is, this is definitely screwing up our momentum here. Okay, keep. We need you to hold a little bit longer. I think we're okay. Looks like we're going to be allowed to keep our little spot here. Set up another TC. And the keep is able to stabilize. Looks like most of that army is in uh, pretty beat up here. Oh boy. Okay, so we need you to go down here and then start repairing this keep if possible. Okay, so that's down for the count. We do have the Roost Knight production, though. We're gonna keep making rams since we have copious amounts of wood on this island. Um, yeah, we're in a little bit of a dicey spot. A little bit of a dicey position. He's losing, gotta be losing a lot of eco. Alright, Roost Knights, gather up back here. This villager can finish this and this. And we will see what we can get done. Alright, so you guys, let's do that. Gotta avoid being, t like, 2v1s under any circumstance. That's just basically game over. Let's go start hitting docks. We can actually go after that TC if we want to. Okay, take down the villagers since they're some of the only ones who can really do much there. Yes, go forth, my pretties. Go forth, my beloved rams. Okay. How's this looking? Okay, we got one TC down. Let's see if we can get the other one. Oh, it looks like he might have packed up and ran away with it, which is fine. We knock down two. Let's get the tower. And, uh, yeah, just more and more rams coming out. A lot of those units are ranged, right? So they're not going to be able to do a whole lot here. All right, let's do this, grab you guys, turn in, take you here. Seems like we're secure enough. I don't know what the old Wookiee ended up doing. What sort of foul, foul witchcraft he was up to, but... Could have been any number of things. Looks like these are elite spearmen. Okay. Okay, let's grab you guys, do this. You can head over here. Set up, trebuchets are there. <laughs> Wookiee can be bargained with, yeah. I think Wookie probably got attacked by someone else based on what I saw. He, he just went somewhere else. I'm cleansing the waves of the Mongol terror. That's pretty funny. Of course the old Wookie would be doing the wholesome play. 
Okay, so that's going to be shut down here, which is fine. Let's just steal some wood while we can. And uh, just make some more ships. Try and resecure the waters, you know? It's got to be the way to do it. And then we do that, and we have that gold node on our coast too, which is cool. So we got to take that into account. It was mostly elite spearmen, yeah, just kind of random units. We got the middle, but the middle is mainly just wood at this point. Whoever is um, naval trading is probably going to be really, really strong. How many of these are finishing? Ah, oh, we didn't finish these. Okay. We don't want to like show this until it's really time. It's going to start getting trebucheted, but that was a good push. We definitely did a lot of damage, and it, it slowed down the momentum of their navy. So I'm not unhappy with that. 260 gold a minute here. We can build stone walls, which eventually we'll probably want to upgrade our island to. Being sieged. Okay, let's get in there. Are those... He's just sending in fishing boats? Huh. So the Mongols clearly... I mean, Cute Kitty must be very strong. Would be my guess. Like, very, very strong. Based on what I'm seeing here. Okay, so how big is the navy? It looks like it's a couple chads. So we just halt that right now. Looks like the keep is up. It's actually fending off his ground force. Get some repairs as much as we possibly can and then just run. Run! Flee the city! Okay, how are we looking mid? Mid's looking pretty chill. Probably want to set up some military mid in case, like, you know, our last landmark gets threatened. We can do something about that. Okay, pulling back here. These guys are going to go do their thing. Okay, do we have any Golden Gate action? We do. Could do this. I really do like that key position. I mean, it's very vulnerable to being hit, but it, it really provides a lot of utility and defense there. All right, you guys pull back. Do this. We got that going. Oh, looks like he's being invaded by someone else. Good, good. So he's, he's getting the 2v1 now. All right. So we're setting that up. A little bit of Mongolian raiding. Let's get textiles. Ooh. Don't want to make too many enemies over here. Chad Sky can protect, but only so much, you know. Ah, uh, Coastal Tower is probably going to get shut down here. Nah, we might be able to finish it. Let's see if we can push it. Ah, uh, it's taking a lot of damage, man. Those Bow Chad cannons hit very, very hard. Oh, uh, maybe with repairs it's going to be able to hold. I think I'm a little ambitious here. I think I'm a little ambitious. Okay, so maybe the fleet will pull back now. No, we didn't even have enough stone to repair it. Yeah, should have canceled it. All good. Okay, so now old Wookiee's raiding us again. The old Wookiee. Up to no good. Might want to get some, like, coastal artillery. To be honest. To try and, uh, to try and defend there. Okay, what do we have? Five and five? Did we ever build the archery ranges here? I could have sworn we had some. Okay, so we need to get that going. And yeah, we're still doing good on the wood department. As long as pink isn't trading, like, maybe we're okay. I don't know, though, to be honest. Are any of these ships low? <laughs> Do what damage we can, baby. We have plenty of resources. Uh, how's our villager count? 98? Okay. Grab a couple of you guys. And one, two, three, four, five. As long as we're lowering the numbers. You know, as long as we're slowly wearing it down. What are we losing on the coast? Just some random knights. Our middle emplacement looks pretty good. Let's optimize these. You guys need to go up here. Literally have no food income right now, so that's not good. I mean, yeah, we have this. Let's just get on this. It's better than nothing. Oh, even our knights came out. That's pretty funny. One, two, three, four. Okay. Looking like we're starting to stabilize here. The old Wookiee? Did somebody kill him? No! Wookiee! What's going on here, man? I feel very happy with our middle position, though. I feel like we could muster a big army there quickly once we get some food going. That's a big problem for us. That is a big problem. I mean, I could make farms, but farms just feel so haggard. Uh, we might have to. Okay, let's grab you guys. Turn in. 
do this, and I think we're just going to set up some desperation farms. We, we just need some sort of food income. Could make some on the island here too. Fishing is obviously ideal though, right? If we can just do that. Okay. Let's make one more. Uh, get the Springald range. Springalds are pretty good for defending your coastline. They, they do some work. Alright, so you guys pull back. Go jump on the gold node. It's gonna be another fleet coming, but we'll have a couple ships at the ready in a moment. Hopefully some springs can move up to the coast and start poking away. We're looking pretty good on our little islands. This player's gotta have naval trade. The, the, the amount of stuff they're producing is pretty bonkers. Okay, pulling back here. We have enough to keep making docks too. We have, you know, tons of wood. I think I think they don't have a position on the middle, but they're probably naval trading somewhere. Nobody. I think only one person's dead. It's red on the other side. Mm-hmm. Keep blasting away, man. Trying to wear him down. You know, we'll bounce back and forth and just keep building docks like a cockroach. Those darn ships, man. They're doing it. All right, so we got springs now. So let's start shooting away. That will probably allow us to set up a navy with less impediment. They don't do insane damage, but they do okay damage. Go, go, mighty Springholds. Go, fend them off. Okay, big amount of resources mid. Nice, sinking ships. Let's go here. One, two, three. Set them up. Stop these for now. Pull back. Mine a little bit of that. And just gather up the Dread Legion of Spring Alts. We should probably make some knights in case he lands. Okay, food food is happening now. We're getting a little bit of food. We have some random uh, Chinese tower over here. Looking good. Alrighty, so docks are coming back. And now we have enough springs to start one-shotting ships. Depending on the ship, of course, but some of them will pay quite an iron price. That's a little bit of a risky spot, although it looks like red's dead, so I don't think we need to worry about that. Okay. Do a little bit of this. Two, three, five, six, seven. I think that will be good, because then... Uh, it depends. I, the only reason I didn't build the docks there earlier is because I was worried about old Wookiee, who kept riding around, like, nuking shit on the coast. So that was pretty frightening. But, um, yeah, now we're going to get some good food economy going here. We will see. If they magically just teleport over there, I would be pretty sus. Hobbit Strife has been eliminated. All right, so people are going down. Starting to get real crazy here. Okay, so the docks are coming up for us. Uh, we need to get trade going. Is Purple still around? Yeah, Old Wookiee's still alive, so I don't know about like trade routes, because trading to the opposite side of the aisle would be ideal here. Okay, so we're pulling back. We have the Spring Alds now. So if they come into fight, we should be able to punish them, I think, with this, the coastal pressure. Oh my god, Old Wookiee is just the Pirate Lord, dude. Look at this shit. Okay. Well, um... Yeah, we don't want to fight Old Wookiee, jeez. He's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's like all in on the Navy here. Okay, looks like somebody was eliminated there. Holy shit. <laughs> he truly, uh, truly has no, uh, no qualms. He just attacks whoever's around. You gotta love it, man. Alright. Yeah, the Springald defense is gonna make us really, really tough to deal with on the coast. Get food upgrade. Okay. Perfect. So you guys get on wood. Let's get some more upgrades. Make sure we're all sauced out there. Anything we're missing. Belt of Siege Engines is good. These be my waters now. No kidding, dude. Although, it looks like we fended off the old Wookiee. For now. Yeah, let's get some units. How's our eco looking? 115. 
We decently don't really need these guys. We do have our two relics of Doom. I think one of them got stolen, actually. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, Wookie. He's he's Corsairing. All right, let's take our spring ults down there. I don't think you can reach quite over here. We do have pretty good passive gold income. Keep the springs here. Nail down some of these ships. Every little thing matters, right? Looks like they're fleeing. All right. So a lot of guys going. Dude, the Dread Pirate Wookiee, he really is. Living true to his name here. Okay, so we're at 200 supplies. Are, any, are we over on eco? I think we're okay. Man, we have a lot. Can turn in here and then delete these guys and sauce it up. Uh, I have read, I've looked at the top notes, uh, patch notes a little bit. I haven't like gone too in depth with it, but. Yeah, I haven't gone too in depth with it. Let's go see like if Pink's recovered. Wookie looks like he just scoured the seas. It's the pirate lord. Okay, let's clear out those guys. All right, let's keep cruising. So these boats will go around the bend. Keep a couple of you guys back here. And we should be good to party. Oh yeah, Wookiee really did scour his coast. It's pretty savage. Take our boats and finish the job. Okay. Take down whatever we can. Make sure they don't have any navy. Keep control of the middle. Do we have any French players in this game? That's the that's the big question. If there's French players, then we got to worry about a wonder. Otherwise, wonder is very difficult on the uh, on the islands, in my experience. Okay, let's do this. So slapping the base on this. Okay, let's get you guys in two. Got the boats ready to protect. Keeps coming up. Ah, oh, yeah, son of a gun. They had the hui hui pals waiting. That's really funny, actually. Alright, let's take those bad boys down. We can just make some wooden towers. Alright, let's pull them back to the water. And uh, we can fight here. Keep the rams nearby. Orange player. We need to go flush them out of the water. I guess they didn't feel like building that. We have the boats. So we can set up on the coast. Let's keep going here. Just hammering and trolling. Feeling pretty good now. We've survived a lot of the incursions that have been done against us. And uh, overall, I think are in good shape. Okay, let's start getting some reinforcements out. Sail the entire island, make sure they're not getting anything back online. They're accusing me of trading. That's pretty funny. I, I didn't even notice. I was like so embroiled in that. I am not trading, sadly. I wish I was. You know, that would be cool, but it's not the reality here. Look, oh, it's kind of kind of clever stuff. Yeah, he's going to nail down my boats here. All right. So we need to reinforce over here. Unfortunately, I could lose my position here. Oh, yellow's here too, okay. Holy shit, oh my god, yellow's invading too. Okay, pink's about to get it. Let's creep up, see if we can get these hui hui pals if they're still there. Ah, uh, you still lurking there, buddy? Doesn't seem to be the case, but... We can just keep sniping. This is like old school age vampires, the, the, uh, the dreaded spring old spam. Oh shit. The greed has been my undoing. Keep going, baby. Age of Spring Alts is back! <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Let's just clear out the last of the Golden Island here. Southern points being taken by just one player. That's okay. We can do a rapid response here if we need to. Um, let's pull you guys down here. Optimize this wood line. Optimize this wood line. Okay, yellow's here now. It's time for the sandwich, dude. Let's let's finish him. 
Q Kitty's been a, a naval tyrant for a long time, but you know, we were able to survive, and now it's time for vengeance. I kind of want to let just the Malians do it. You know, let them have their have their fun here, because it seems like they don't need me. These are just what elite archers. Okay. GG Q Kitty, well played. A worthy foe indeed. All right, so hmm. Let's go set up a little tower next to this. Do that and come back to your farm. Now we get to fight over the scraps of this island. All right, so what needs to be done now is we need to get some trade ships and do this if we can. It ain't gonna be easy, but we're gonna try it. These are Malians. These are just sofas and stuff. Yeah, let's take these down. Might as well get them off the island if we can. The invasion could come for us at any point. Okay, we've almost cleared all the wood off the island. What's nice is we can move on to this island afterwards, and then we can take their goodies. What the hell are all these 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 buildings? Oh, these are Huihui Pals. I was like, they look like buildings. They're so giant. Do you still have the battering rams nearby? Okay, so that's going to get built. We have, yeah, I mean, wonder, is a wonder even possible for us? I guess if we just save Golden Gate charges, it would be. I mean, there's still a lot of people in the game, though, strong players. But we want all the wood on this island. It's That's often what these come down to. It's like these huge wood conflicts, right? Okay, so we're going to try and do this. We're going to do that and then send you over here. Probably want to get a fishing fleet back online if, if we can, because we're going to need it to sustain conflict. I mean, we do have farms and whatnot, but it's not quite enough. The Q Kitty was a ferocious fighter, Jesus. So really good at the naval play. I was kind of like torn between fighting Q Kitty and, and like solidifying on the middle. That was a, that was a tricky position to be in. Yeah, very tricky position. Oh shit, Yellows. Yellows, he's coming for blood. All right, so what we do is we probably clear this off and then delete this force, because, man, that Malian Navy is no joke. Let's move you guys inland and set up a uh, an operation here. Let's go get these springs, bring them to the coast, because I'm going to get steamrolled by that fleet. It's pretty huge. Okay, guys. Let's keep going this way. We got the spring alts heading to the coast, because they'll be able to pick off a couple ships, hopefully. Let's come down here. How are the springs doing? Yeah, springs are nice. You can just kind of pick off ships. Unfortunately, they're a little bit far for us. Man, those Malian, that Malian Navy is scary. Plus, it's getting real crunk here on the bottom. I'm probably drawing a little bit of aggro by trading. Can't quite reach them. It's all good. Get a demo ship out. Kaboom! Hopefully they'll sail past me again. And uh, cool, so we can go ahead and set up a, a TC here. I don't know why they're repairing that landmark, it's pretty funny. And delete these guys, we don't need them on this island anymore. It's just taking up supply basically. Um, it looks like we got swept on the coast here. Okay, let's reestablish that. Okay, I, I thought Mali might be um, in, invading me, but it looks like they're not. They're just they're just sailing by. So we're gonna have to tackle the Malian navy at some point. Let's go to the peninsula. Maybe our spring alts are gonna be able to shoot from there. Yeah, I do have that dock, but it's not the best trade route. It's pretty close. Um, we do have the one in the corner. Stop! Stop! Stop, stop. Mali just cackling on my shores. Trade's pretty much offline for now. It's all good, though. We still have good passive gold income from our hunting cabins. Let's finish off whatever wood we can. Super Munchkin's gonna be scary. No, you finish that first. Oh, shit. Wasn't paying attention. Go, go, little Springholds. See if a couple of you can survive and maybe pick off a ship. Hey, yeah. 
Not gonna happen. Orange, I will remember you is what he says. Looks like there's some blood feuding going on over here, guys. And uh, let's get you to decap this. So Orange isn't making friends from what I can tell. Okay, let's get you to jump over here. Oops, finish off that gold node. You guys come down here, butcher this. And uh, we can set up more hunting cabins just to try and keep that gold income going. I think we're probably already capped on the hunting cabins, I'm not sure. But even so, we'll, uh, we'll still do our best here. Yeah, I know, I always forget to build the roost towers on wood. It is a wood multiplayer now. And they're helpful. Alright, guys. We're hanging in there. We decapped the sacred site. Uh, we could capture it ourselves. Holy shit, Malians are here and they're pissed. That that force could straight up land on my island here, so hmm. Probably will too, so I gotta I gotta make sure I have like some Streltsy and some boys to defend against that. Might be time for some stone towers. Alright, let's make a fleet. Orange is coming around the bend again. Not happy about uh, losing their business there. Kind of banking resources at the moment. I think stone, it's probably time for stone walls on my main island. To make sure I don't get just get karate chopped super hard. We don't have any keeps on our main base anymore, I don't think. I think they all got destroyed, so... I mean, I could buy some, but I'd rather save that. Okay, I'm cool. We definitely have a lot of dominance on the uh, on the wood economy on the middle, which is rad. Yeah, stone's pretty much gone. Like, I feel like orange isn't going to come all the way over here, you know what I'm saying? It would, it's probably going to be more yellow messing with me here. Okay, so we have a decent little standing army now. It's something. It's not the best, but it's uh, not insignificant either. All right, let's go sail and see what we... Oh, hello. Orange is getting crunk. Old Wookiee's still alive, too. Hmm. Total War Warhammer looks weird. It sure does. Yeah, so yellow, as expected, is landing. So thankfully we had already built an army. And then we can get some Streltsy coming to defend. And then we pull our boats over. This is a little dangerous though, for sure. We need uh, we need more stuff. All right, is there any like keeps we want to slap down? No, let's just sail over here. Ah, it's just a bunch of sofa. Should be able to take them on with Streltsy and Roost Knights and stuff. Okay, let's pull back. Get our navy over here. Okay, let's attack. Then we got our navy coming in with the flank. He's trying to pull us back to his navy, which is fine. Okay, raiding my villagers or whatever at this point. Okay, boys. Uh, we're going to need some more military infrastructure. Probably some spear, some spear action would be good. We might be able to hold this just with uh, what we have, but you never know. All right. More navy, please. Come over and help out. Looks like the Malians will probably be stopped here. Looks like their forces are diminishing. The Streltsy are making um, a big difference in the fight. Plus the navy fight, I think we win. I mean, do we even lose anything? Yeah, we lost a little bit, I guess. That navy is mighty thin. Okay, well, old Wookiee's still around. We might want to contain his island. The fact that old Wookiee's so close to us is a little bit scary. Okay, the Malians were defeated. But not before they did some damage. Um, alright, looking good. Cool. We have the lumber operation here. Get a couple Streltsy up to help. And yeah, no, no serious damage taken. Everything's pretty much superficial here. Just a couple random units. The middle is really the epicenter of our hotness anyways. Enemy destroyed nomad. Okay, somebody's dying on that side. Might be time to, to unleash Gotham's Reckoning up top on the Malians if we can. I don't know how well it's going to go, but could be a good idea. Now we have spears in case anybody invades us with Mass Cav again. We got to get these guys upgraded and get some men-at-arms upgrade too. Alright. 
So let's set up like towers all over the island. And again, wood is like the most valuable resource on these maps. Hands down, more valuable than gold. Because like without wood, you're just straight up trapped on your island. So we could just kind of keep taking all the goodies from these various islands. I think we're in good shape. Um, 16 charges on Golden Gate. I'm just going to straight up save up till I have like a million charges on that. And just see what happens there. Um, we need to get some docks going here. Nomad battling someone. Not sure what's going on, but they are doing war. Okay, how many boats do you want? Oh, it looks like there's some diplomacy going on. Okay, how much gold is left in this node? A fair amount. Orange is here, working on this node. We have good control over the island. Wookiee has been pretty peaceful with us, and it's also the name of my deceased dog, so um, we are going to be chilling out there. Do this. I think it's worthy to spend a little bit on that. Oh, hello. Malians are back and they're pissed, baby. All right. I think we might have a bigger navy than them now. We'll see. We do have at least the closer supply lines. All right, so the fleets are doing battle. Let's get some ships going there. Seems pretty evenly matched, actually, in terms of what we have. Okay, let's do a little bit of microing here to make sure our ships are being more efficient with their targets. And then they can fire in, like, bunch groups. Yeah, it's going to be nice. All right, so that's going to, like, be the first half of our island there. Looks like we're slowly winning this conflict. Um, trade with this dock is maybe better than nothing. So let's uh, let's start on that. So let's get one, two, three. One, two, three. All right. We have dispatched the Malian Navy. And uh, do they have anything on the coast here? No, they don't. I think we can just afford to keep doing this since we have so much wood. Mm-hmm. Probably need to delete our standing army in the base because we're going to need that supply for our navy. Okay, looking good. That Roos wood economy is coming in the clutch. It's definitely doing good for us. Uh, let's see what this looks like, this route. Could be worth it. You never know. All right, one more should do that, and then we can go ahead and do the wall. So now if anybody lands, it's going to take like a little bit of effort. They won't, they'll, they won't be able to just run into my base. All right, so let's go sail north. Looks like there's still some gold nodes left on the island, which is great. Let's go see if we can grab those. The Mongols didn't quite get around to finishing those ones off. Gold is going to become very, very sparse here soon. Oh, look at that. Malian's trying to set up a little uh, outpost here. Knock down the keep so he doesn't get his refunds. Make more boats with the fur. Set up a tower here. Unfortunately, I don't have any troopers left in the south. That would have been nice. Look at his guys coming out with their daggers. They got their daggers out for the dark gods. What does that trade look like? Ah, it's not. It's not like insignificant. Oh, can we get this finished, please? Thank you. All right, so this tower hopefully will start picking off hills. Wooden fortresses are pretty stalwart, so I'm hoping that will get the job done. We can jump out and repair it as needed. Go over here and repair it. All right, guys, cool, looking mostly done. Then I don't know if there's any more resources. There is. All right, so it looks like we pushed his vills off the island, so he's going to be hurting for gold, even if we lose this naval engagement, which we are. We need to get back and uh, just gather our, our fleet, basically. Get a couple arrow ships. Okay, I don't know why these guys ran all the way over here. Clearly a mistake on my part. All right. Um, we are being bombarded by old Wookiee. It's fine. We're just gathering wood. 
Looks like they are going to be shut down here, so let's get in there. Have you guys attack. The second wave, the boss fight round two. He just lost a lot of bills here on this uh, on this island. Let's get a spring emplacement too. <laughs> that gold belongs to me. All right, you guys go jump on the deer back here. Okay, uh, let's actually take down the pit mine first. Go demo ship, nice, nice. Getting a little bit too crazy on the coastline, though. We're not making too many friends. Do we have any more uh, TCs here? I think we still have one. Yeah, we do. Cool. Let's just make sure we keep those those villager numbers up. I notice they keep dying to random attrition. Um, here, you guys need to come up here and jump on some transport ships. Oh, the Malians are back, dude, and they're pissed. They're back and they're pissed. It's like war canoes. So we could definitely lose this island here. Um, they're going to discover my little alcove. Eh, we could try and build a panic build to keep, although is it really worth it? Probably not. Let's just go down here and see if we can ninja some resources. It's going to discover my TC, but we just kind of keep pushing north, see if we can steamroll them in the water. Now you guys jump in that transport ship. And this is the trade ship, that's right. The blessed trade ship of the gods. Alright, let's go clean this up real quick. Um, gold node is there. Our two navies colliding. Let's move through the Shroud of War, although it looks like they're able to see the ship. Decent little military right there, for sure. Do we want to build anything on the island? Is it even worth it? Oh no! Wookie! We gotta pull back. We can't handle both of them at once. Okay, old Wookie's coming to give me the business. And unfortunately this, uh, hopefully he doesn't destroy that dock. Oh, Wookie! I think I gotta like, have peace with Yellow. Because if Purple's gonna raid me too, I should probably just try and kill Purple. He's right next to me, so he can just backstab me at like any time, right? Mm-hmm. Still both fighting here? Really? Okay, I guess we turn around and do this. So Wookie just doing a little bit of a raid. Oh boy. Anybody's welcome to join the F phase. It's just first come, first serve, so. Seal that breach. And uh, we can do a little ring around the rosy here. Set up another TC. Ah, Wookie, what are you doing? Everything's fallen to pieces. I know, it's true. I mean, I could send some Streltsy down there, but that feels more or less pointless. Alright, so we held that off. Um, trade is going to be incredibly hard with the old Wookiee cackling about. It's fine, we're pretty rich at the moment. Grab you guys. Ah, oh, yellow and and him. Hmm. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty confident about the wonder situation. I just don't have enough stone. I think even if I trade for stone, it's uh it's nowhere near. It's it's on it's on the back of my mind though. Wookie's got like a dread fleet. We need to just we need to let him and yellow fight because they're two v one of me at the moment. Okay, pulling away. Let's go do some coastal raiding of the Malians here. Do this. I think it's worth to secure, although that is a lot of sofa, so I don't know how good that's going to be. Oh no, I definitely think a wonder victory is possible. It's just, um... The stone is just a huge, fact, huge problem. Yeah, I got swept off the island again here. Alright, let's uh, rebuild. Take down the Malians infrastructure here. Gotta keep this wood flow going. I wonder who's naval trading. That's my big question. Let's set up a tower here, see if we can like see if anybody's naval trading. Holy shit! Oh my god, Wookiees! 
I feel like I'm luring Godzilla to fight like uh, like Ghidorah right now. All right, yeah, dude, you guys just duke it out. I don't want any piece of that shit. Okay, so we're garrisoned up. Burning oil should start kicking in here in a minute. We got villagers hiding, so we can pop them out and do a little bit of action. Okay, let's do this. Do this. Do that. Let's repair it. When they're not paying attention, hopefully get some HP back on that bad boy. Archers did notice, unfortunately. Cannon's still a ways off. Yeah, the burning oil ain't what it used to be. Old school burning oil would definitely have done a lot better. That was just a waste of uh, resources there, building that keep. I gotta get used to the changes to the burning oil. It's it's uh, it's not not nearly as good as it once was. Some aliens will take control of that island, which is actually fine. I, I don't mind that. Looks like that dock is still online over there. TC is gonna get taken down. Let's see if we can squeak some rats away. Yeah, so hopefully the Wookiee will will do things elsewhere. You know, he'll he'll find some some hobbies and some passions uh, that don't involve my base. Okay. Yeah, no, the the for for anyone's welcome to join our games, guys. Don't be shy. We'd love to have you in here. Don't be shy. How are we looking in the middle? Still a little bit of gold left. Probably not much. Enemy destroyed Nomad's landmark. Okay, so the, the number of players is getting lower for sure. Probably could build a natural market here. How many... E what's our eco at? Yeah, our eco's a little bit low. We probably need to replenish it. And the island, it looks like the Malians are going to take that. I mean, it's not, there's not that much left on it. That big southern peninsula is nice. That's the only thing that I'm kind of sad about. Uh, I'm going to save on the navy for a minute. This is generating 344 gold a minute, which is awesome. Okay. Do a little bit of this. You guys can build that. Don't need this back here. Yeah, they're just they're just custom games, like public yeah, public custom games, exactly. Um the sacred sites, I probably should grab this one. It's just kind of sitting there. I mean it will put a bit of a target on my head, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, how's our eco count looking back up to 80? Nice. Uh-huh. The dread, dreaded Wookiee Lord, dude. He's he's just uh, truly a tyrant. Look at his just dread navy. Wherever it sails, the the shores quake and tremble in terror. Okay, I have a couple options here. Wookiee's uh, pounding my poor farms. So we're going to have to move inland with those. Could just set up a big farming operation here. Would suck to lose it, but... Okay. Alrighty. That should be a little something-something for us. And let's uh, see what we can do. Could be a disaster. Could fall apart horribly. You never know. Looks like he's got some goodies now. The problem is I'm probably going to get killed on the shores. If his navy can get here quick enough, because I only brought rams. Oh, looks like he got Chad's guy. Alright, so let's make you guys into attack ships and they can go run interference. He's probably panicking right now. His navy's most likely on the way over. Alright, let's get in. Yep, as expected. <laughs> the, the rats have gotten in the walls. He says, uh-oh. That's right, dude. You better say, uh-oh. He's coming for you. We just got to get away from his navy here. Do 
Okay, let's move up. Start attacking. Let's get in there. <laughs> I like how he even said, uh-oh, like he knew it was coming. Oh yeah, dude, we, <laughs> we got in there, dude. I'm hiding my villagers and the rams too, which is pretty funny. Let's kill this so we can't go for resources. Let's go landmark hunting. Oh, we got 15 Streltsy packed up in there, wow. Okay, let's go after these, and you guys go after these. Let's get back there, dive all the artillery. Let's go here, house, house, house. Streltsy, just keep mowing shit down. You guys can just finish that off if possible. Cool. We got the Chad Sky Tower over there. It's a little bit of a problem, but the Rams are definitely getting some good uh, good pushing. If we could just like start sniping down his houses, that's going to be really good. Let's take down the TC. He does have two relics too, which is nice. So we probably want to get um, once these guys finish, we want to just build some uh, build some siege workshops so we can start spamming Rams into his base. Oh, we actually have all four of his landmarks right here. Wow. Okay, so we might be able to just straight up get him here. All right, let's get our knights to go there. Do this. Take that down. The old Wookiee's uh, naval piracy has been reigning uh, tyranny for far too long. Holy shit, he's building a lot of siege, guys. Yeah, let's take this down. Take you down. Maybe we're going to need spring alts. Who knows? We did get that TC down, too. The dreaded Roos Ramstein. Oh, man. Okay, so we get this down. What's up? What does Yellow want? What does Super Munchkin want? Nomad's Wonder? Oh, Nomad has a Wonder here. Oh, okay. Wookie? I will let you live if you help with wonder. I could kill him right now, for sure. But I'd rather get his help with the wonder. Good man. All right. So now we need to delete this and we need to muster. I'm I, I'm playing to win today. We're not we're not uh, you know, we're not going to be messing around here. All right. So let's grab you guys. Do this. So Wookie is going to help with the wonder. It looks like Nomad's going for it. So we need to muster a fleet like stat and hopefully not get killed by somebody else. No, killing him is is my chances because that's like he's right on the shores. He's actually one of the best candidates to land invasions. Um, so yeah, we we don't want to. We it's smart to let him live is essentially the thing. Matthew, keep up the great content. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, do we have any archer ranges here? We do. Okay, so he's obviously going to salvage his lands with all of his artillery here. I understand wanting to finish him, but it's uh, it's not the right call, in my opinion. I wonder how Nomad was able to save so many resources. I wonder what he was doing. Alright, let's get out here. Okay, so we got our navy coming back. We're pretty good on resources, but not enough stone. Oh, Wookie, Wookie's... From what I've seen of Wookie, he's a pretty honorable player. I mean, he can attack me later. That's completely fair game. You know, um, but for now, yeah, no, we gotta, we gotta try and take this man down. Okay, so we just have to get through Nomad's defenses. His, his wonder is pretty close to the shoreline. Is his only thing about it. So I'm feeling as if we might be able to do a little something, something here with Trebs. He's repairing all of his landmarks. The old Wookie will live this day. I do have the sacred threat too. Maybe I should have threatened that. The problem is, yeah, no, I, I'd rather everyone work together. I'm going to take one just to get some gold, but that's basically it. Okay, let's get some warships. Two, three, four. Seven. We have any transport ships left? Doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure they all died. No, we don't want them here. Cool. 
get that. Um, the other ones, yeah, trebuchet damage we definitely want. All right, so hopefully other players are in combat now. These guys are going to peace out and just build the dock and hopefully be able to escape. All right, so we're going to go like poke around and see what it's made of down here. Winning on Sacred would be very hard. Wonder is definitely the best bet. Wookie, uh, he has a good spot too, Nom uh, Nomad. He's got a very good spot down here. No, 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 no. Perp, you take that side. But you need to land, you know. There needs to be a landing course. Um, all right. Let's grab you guys, do this, do that. You need to land stuff also. You can't just you can't just sit, sail around and be the Corsair Lord. Everybody has to land. Because he's just gonna be sitting back there with a the mass army of Springholds and shit, you know? Okay, villagers are on the way. Yellow's here. Good deal. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. This is like a good so far it's a good there's good communication. Everybody's kind of like talking to one another. That's uh, that's that's you know an improvement. All right, because we just need to bleed them out. We have ten minutes, you know, and we have pretty decent supply lines, all things considered. Okay. Let's focus. You guys, we keep the troopers going here. We'll do a couple runs. Alright. Hopefully they don't destroy my keep on accident. Oh, we got cults here. Let's go take those bad boys out. And then we can make uh, transport ships. One cult down. It looks like he just fed me his cauldrons, which is great. And, uh, shit, I should have kept some of these as attack ships to keep them at bay. Keeps coming, but yeah, we're forcing trades, which is good. And we'll have another wave of uh, reinforcements coming soon. Alright, let's go up here, load up. Definitely putting some hurt on that army. Culverins, let's go get those. If we can snipe all of his expensive culverins, it'll make his defense really shitty. Take a couple of you guys. Wow, we actually won that fight, are you serious? Oh, he must be fighting on another front. I thought, I didn't think that would be enough, but it looks like it was. Alright. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Get into those. He's using villagers. Let's start knocking down the keeps here. Purple. No, no, no. Perp, no. I got this side. Don't, because if Perp comes over here and starts killing my shit, that's really going to slow the things down. Yeah, see, it's good that I left Purple alive. See, if I had killed Purple... I wouldn't have this entire point of pressure on this side, and we might lose to the Wonder. But now we have that, and it's like, it's pretty huge. Alright, let's get a cannon emplacement here. And there's probably going to be a counter Wonder after this, to be fair. Although, I don't know what everyone's situation looks like. Oh, that's actually... That was somebody keep dropped him earlier. Huh, interesting. Okay. We got you guys coming. Let's get the rams and go dive again if we can. Okay, let's knock these down and then we got new culverins. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, give me those culverins. Give me all those expensive pieces, precious. You guys wanted me to take out the Wookiee, dude. How, how dare, how could you possibly? He's, he's, he's my homie. For all of our conflicts we've had this game, Wookiee has been a true homie. Uh-huh. Let's do this. We're going to keep carrying units over. Hopefully yellow sees where to land. Can go there. Let's jump up. Okay, keep knocking down infrastructure. Do this. Let's get the trebuchets down and just start bonking on the keep's head, I think. You don't have a huge army anymore on the island, but it's something. Okay, you guys, you do a little shoreline fishing for now. We might be able to get it here, we'll see. Traps are getting pretty close to it. 
We'll start spamming out rams. Roost rams are really good. Nice. We are hitting it. So we have a lot of pressure on it. Loading up more. I think we got this one. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of happy I didn't go for the wonder first. It seems like all the players in this game responded very, very well to... Um, to the wonder like a lot of times people don't you know it's kind of like a little potato but this was a good response team great stuff i love love to see it love to see it and now we can uh take some take some relics potentially that'd be nice i'm still gonna finish try and finish them off because i'm already here so i might as well yeah we're gonna try and finish the job I don't know where all of his landmarks are, but, you know, we got to start getting rid of players. <laughs> the traps and the roost rams. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Good teamwork so far. No, uh, it's me, Super Munchkin, Wookie, and... Oh, shit, it's just, it's just us, huh? That's rough. All right, let's get Aachen down. Do this, grab the relic. Come back over here, and then we can actually even start working on this island here. He probably has a landmark hidden somewhere. All right, let's knock down that keep. Go team. Oh, he's mustering a defense out here. And that's why we are uh, bringing the full fury of our uh, armies here. Okay, let's pull back. Try and save these if we can. He's mustering a defense. Um, I'm being attacked here. I do have one sacred site. Unfortunately, those are probably going to die. The Rams are doing good work. Our monk's going to try and seal the landmark right from under their nose, which will be pretty funny. Go! Can we do... Oh, I have an MLG play. Oh, we can't get in there. Uh. <laughs> For a second, I was like, I thought I would be able to take the relic and then get in the ram, and that would just be like the, the, big, the big brain play. Uh-huh, let's go fishing boats. And they can just start fishing. Oh boy. This is, uh, this is a wild game. He's still hanging in there. But we need to we need to probably finish him off. So we got this. Let's take that down. We can go get these springs here. Could be invaded at any point. But I have mass production on both islands. So I think I can muster an army in an emergency if I need to. Yeah, he's had a lot of expensive artillery get sniped this game, that's for sure. The dreaded Wolo Lowe's in the corner. Oh, I think he's got a landmark hidden back there, would be my guess. I don't know, this Aachen Chapel is so tanky. It feels like it's tankier than usual. Alright, so... That is down for the count. Is that going to be his last one? Nope, doesn't look like it. You guys, moving up. Nope, we don't want to fight there. He's probably like, why are they still attacking me? Which, I'm actually down down for this. This is, this is good. We're just here for the scraps, dude. He's basically, you know, done for. It's going to be very hard for him to come back here. Uh. <laughs> he's, he's trying to politic his way back in. I don't blame him. I would do the same thing. But, uh, you know. See, Wookiee was a good one to leave alive, for sure. He, um... I don't like that, like, orange is, like, on my shore here. With his little boat. Wookiee's gonna get that relic. There's no stopping that. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Look how much... Look how much siege this man has. Does he have anything hidden over here? Oh, that's yellow. The Malians. Okay, let's see if we could, like, cheese that relic. Maybe somebody will let me have it. Okay, you guys go do some deep sea fishing here. Let's start saucing up our food economy for, uh, you know, potential late game shenanigans. He Does he have, like, a hidden... Like, where is his last landmark? Yellow's trying to get it. No, dude. That's... That... that, that rel These relics are being fought over pretty hard because they're, like, some of the only sources of, uh... Of late game money that anyone's getting. Okay, Orange has done it. This is a time for us to maybe secure this relic. That would be awesome. Let's take down the market. 
He's got to be toast, right? Come on, buddy. Grab that relic. Get it back there. Oh, it's his last line mark here. Oh, holy shit. He's got two relics in it, too. It's being fought over very hard. The relics will pop out, too, since he hadn't left the game yet. Oh, go, buddy. Go. We need to get a transport ship to like take one of these bad boys out. Okay, it looks like he's escaping with the goods. So now if we can like secure the other two relics, that'd be sweet. I'll take the one. Come on, hustle! Hustle! <laughs> you can do it! Alright, looks like he's circling. Yellow and I are now mortal enemies once again. Uh, yeah, we need to get out with those relics if possible. So let's take this relic back. Let's just like see if we can go here and then here. And uh, can we get any more out? I don't think it's gonna, I don't think we're gonna be so lucky. Again, so we do have a decent little army. Let me go here. Knock down that keep. Got a nice navy. My poor fishing ships. Let's turn them into attack ships. One of the cool things that the Roos can do. Just gotta run away here and then turn around and get ready to brawl in a second. Okay. Oh, hello. Alright, so now we got a little navy to fight. So cool that you could do that as Roos. Did somebody snake the relic? No, they didn't. Okay. Oh, damn. They killed my monk. Okay. Well, I still have some guys over here. So let's see if we can just come down here and build this. Get whatever we can. We're all fighting over the scraps of the old empire here. There's a little bit of gold left on this island. How much is it? It's 400. I mean, that's not insignificant. Let's grab you guys. Come down here. Jump on this. Ah, oh, my last worker got killed. It's a shame. Alright. So the island has been taken. It's been a really scrappy FFA so far. I need those hunting cabins because they're generating me a lot of money. Nothing here. I would imagine there's going to be some wonder play on the horizon. Um, let's go around here and see if we can do... Problem is, old Wookiee's my neighbor. Wookiee has been just a terror this whole game. Let's go see if I can maybe get his fleet down. Okay, let's make some more ships. Wood is getting real tight up here. Oh, look, a stone note. Are you serious? Oh, no, okay. I was going to say, that was that would be too good to be true. So we need to take down Wookiee's dock. He's the most immediate threat to us, based on his location. Um, this army isn't really needed here anymore. We can go maybe like try and knock that keep down with it. Okay, how are we doing on resources? Looking pretty good on the wood. Alright, we'll see if we can torch that down. Pull you over here. Do that. Rams keep cleaning all this off. And uh, do we have any neutral docks around to trade with? I don't think so. At least we took out Wookiee's coastline. I mean, he's going to come with his huge navy here in a second, but we, uh, we we have done some damage. He's got Chad Sky Tower over there. Being attacked here, of course. Okay, so we have a lot of random spearmen here who I didn't notice. Okay, so we need to make some units. Yellow could land in my base, so I need to have something going on there. Back to wood you go. All right, we're gonna lose this fight, but at least we're gonna do some damage in the process. That's uh, that's the upside. Let's see if we could reinforce it. Maybe we'll have a chance of winning in that case. Holy shit! Oh no 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 no! Get in the gate! Get in the gate! Oh, he got the he got the relic. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. See, Ella's just corsairing me. Meanwhile, I get hammered here, and we appear to have gotten them off the island there. Wow, did we actually deal with Wookiee's fleet? That's pretty big. I have a big defensive force here, though, so I, I don't think there's too many problems in the base. We probably need some springs. Let's get that upgrade. All right, that's good. So Wookiee's like navy isn't as scary anymore. Um, it's it's diminished. Maybe I just like naval conquest, but somebody's got to be naval trading. Lucky monk, I know. No kidding, dude. He was very lucky. He's barely squeaked away there. 
Oh god, yellow's flanking. So we need to like lure them into each other. Is he actually attacking me? Holy shit, look at this. Got a little army there and everything. I might be able to handle these guys 2v1 actually. I feel like I have the wood advantage, but that's going to start diminishing pretty rapidly. The middle island is almost bare of wood. Um, okay, looks like Yellow's fleet has been dealt with, and I have a... Look, he's trying to landmark snipe me. Look at this! Look at the landmark snipe! Holy shit! I don't think you land... I don't think someone's trading if they're doing that kind of stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty funny that he tried to landmark snipe me. A bunch of warrior scouts. I was ex I was expecting an invasion, so. All right. So that's good. Wookie uh, obviously is going to rebuild his navy. Middle is almost completely purged of resources. Setting up towers here to make sure no uh, shenanigans are going on with trade. Uh, let's do a couple of these, maybe? No, he's just going to keep going. We need to clear out these boats that are near our base, though. I believe he had some chilling there. Or maybe he retreated them, okay. Okay, so a lot of these docks are going down. Yellow is a problem, but so is Wookie. Trading progressively, trying to work our way up. Yeah, no, I want to wonder, but it's easier said than done. It's like, I, I just like, there's the resources I had. I don't have enough gold or no juicy trade or anything like that. Okay, let's leave you guys. We don't need you on the island anymore. Holy shit, he's got a, he's got a fleet of the fleets here. I don't know if I can even stop that. Really, that's, that's quite a bit. You're basically just saving up golden gate charges, guys. That's, that's what's going down here. Okay, so this fleet's splitting into two, which is fine. Take you guys, set this up. And then we can set up a bunch along the coast here. The wood is becoming very scarce. I would imagine uh, he's probably trading. I do have Chad Sky here, so he's landing with... You see, the fact that he's landing with warrior scouts makes me think that there's... um. Some jankiness going on. I'm gonna build a keeper. I think it's worth it. Just to keep those arms online and stuff. We can make some knights. Those guys don't do a lot of damage. You can always rebuild too. So we might be forced off the island. It, it, it for sure could happen here. We might be able to get it back online too. Or your scouts are attacking. Keep will be up in a moment. It's garrison, you guys. Yeah, he's just making crappy units, but Wookie, the threat of the Wookie is always in the shadows. That's that's what's really stressing me out here. Finish the keep. Alright, get in there. Couple of Roost Knights can bully them down potentially. Okay. I'd like to just save, but I mean I maybe I could. Maybe it is to that point in the game, huh? Yeah, looks like we've dealt with the warrior scouts. And there's not much wood left on this island, is there, anyways? Let's take down this dock. He's probably running out of... Uh, might be trading with that corner dock. I probably need to deal with that. Okay, let's get back to the farms. Keep trading here. Still got the old docks of doom. Now we have the Roost Knights who can deal with any warrior scouts. We'll probably just leave them there the rest of the game. Alright, let's go see what's up. Is it even worth it? Yeah, probably. Our eco count's pretty poor. He's still landing dudes on the island, so the Roost Knights should be able to... We can even just make horsemen. Save the gold. Roost horsemen are still good. Yep, it's basically feeding. Feed me food, which I'm sure he has no short of. Uh, uh, Wookie is... Wookie is still just quiet. Like, I don't know what Wookie is up to. Could be going for a wonder for all I know. 
We're getting there, man. Wow, he's oh, he's actually going hard here. Okay, we should probably match his intensity then. Should probably match it. All right, let's pull you guys back. Gather up. Uh, I don't think we have siege workshops here, so let's do this. I don't know why he wants. Oh, he wants the middle to deny the wonder, just in case I do manage to get it. Okay, so we'll definitely um, match him there. Okay, let's do this. Get a cannon placement. As much as I hate to use the stone, I think it's worth. Yeah, this is fine. We're gonna we're gonna steamroll this invasion. He's just gonna be wasting wood. The Roost Knights should like have a pretty dominant little fight here. And then let's get a bombard. All right. So now we have a good little fleet too. Let's go take it up here and see what's going on. How's this looking? Looking pretty good, pretty one-sided. Should have this. Uh, let's cancel the bombard. Actually, it's already almost done. Fuck, screw it. Okay, so we don't want to destroy that. We'll keep that there. Let's do a little royal rumbling here. Okay, bombard cannon. You almost done? Ah, supply block. Nice. Like, what is Wookie doing? I mean, I know he took a ton of damage earlier, but still probably not up to any good. Probably scheming. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit occupied with yellow. Okay, so the stone is wasted. He's banking at the moment. Taking, taking down yellow's uh, stuff, which is good. He's investing quite a bit in land, so I think that's going to give us the edge here. You guys and our archers even elite yet? Not quite. Probably going to be useful for when we run out of gold, so I should get that upgrade. Looks like he's coming for blood here. All right, let's gather back here then. <laughs> Wookie says so. I know Wookie. There's there's a lot going on here. He might be able to get the middle off me. I'm not sure. Keep sailing down. A little bit of this. Ah, I really don't want to spend gold, but I also don't want to lose this island fight. He's repairing the keep. Looks like he's pulling back now. Make some rams. Come over here. Oh, transport ship's nice. Every bit of wood that is basically gone is pretty big. Oh, actually, I don't have anything over there. Okay. Do I have any bills left here? I do. So let's get you guys to do this for now. It's fine. Gather up, team. Do some ram on ram action. Still got to put up a stand on the middle. We can yield the top territory. Not happily, of course, but... Let's go shut him out of the water. We're getting there, guys. But we have the ever-looming threat of the Wookiee. That's why I'm leaving this full army in the base. In case you guys are wondering, it's like I, I, I'm i diminishing my fighting power elsewhere, but I, at the end of the day, I think it's worth it because I want to um, I want to make sure that Wookiee doesn't backstab me. So. Oh, wow, he's got a big navy, too. How much do these cost to build? Yeah, only 30. 30 gold, pretty cheap. Chad's guy looks like it's gonna go down. Gonna have to repair that. Hey, take care, Nomad. GG's, man. Take these rams down. Got our own rams doing their thing. Let's just start popping some of these villagers. Got this keep here that does have a cannon emplacement. We're being scurvy dogged a little bit. And then you guys can go down here. Cool. It's better than nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Better than nothing. Alright. Horseman, let's go. Go, go, mighty horseman. Looks like he's repairing his keep there. 
Let's hotkey all these bad boys. Horsemen and Archer Legions are amassing. So too are the Ram Legions. Ah, oh, we're getting there, baby. My internet's acting up? It usually shouldn't be. It's usually pretty good. Matthew, again, thank you for the donation, man. Yellow is too strong. I'm too weak. Help me. I have to use the Haggard Palpatine politics, even though, you know, there's not too much truth to that. It's just fun. Gotta stay in character. Okay. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm spamming scouts, dude. Oh, it's so funny. They're so, it's so true, you know? It's just like ridiculous. Okay, we need to start doing this too, by the way. I'm too weak. Help me. Why did I just build this random spring altar there? Like, I don't need that, you know? All right, guys, taking it down. And uh, we have a defense force. Like, he, Wookie would have to, like, have not only a good navy, we also have some defensive boats, too. So I feel like we're okay. On the other side, I mean, obviously his navy is really scary. Garrison, you guys up. Sweep him off the old island. I mean, that was a huge wood investment to build all those buildings. So he's he's got to be hurting a little bit, at least in that regard. Okay, we have our keep. Uh, we need to repair Chadskaya Tower. 100%. You guys can just get on these deer for now. Because they will give me bounty, so let's, uh, let's just purge the deer. Alright, Horseman Legion, go. <laughs> Turn is sowing doubt like a seasoned schemer. <laughs> And <laughs> yeah, I need to garrison a little bit longer here. Alright, keep pushing those units down. Just keep farming them. Wookie well, says I have nothing. Dude, he is lying so hard. He definitely has something. I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to find out soon, I'm sure. Alright, let's go repair Chad Sky. Alright, so that's good. We swept all the creatures off the island. For now. Now we can sell some other primary resources. Sell that food, baby! I did, uh, the relics? Oh, I thought I had those relics from now, man. I, did, I, th I didn't think those were still there. Shit. Looks like there is one. I could have sworn they weren't there when I checked, but... It could be the bug where they're stuck in the Ragnus Cathedral, but... Yeah. Like, for another day. Alright, so let's move around here. Let's go see if he's trading with our horsemen. And, uh, because we have our Walmart trade going, which is great. Our military is huge at the moment. Alright. I feel like there's going to be a wonder race. Although, I don't know how they would be able to get the stone. I mean, it would just have to be via trading. You know. Yeah, it would have to be kind of some janky way. I'm going to go trade these horses and do his boats. It's not often you get that trade to let your horsemen kill canoes and shit. But they will do okay damage with their torches, I can assure you. Uh, let's get rid of the spearmen here. Free up some supply for bills. I don't think anybody's trading here, but they probably will be soon is the problem. Chad Sky is going to be repaired. Okay, let's keep attacking. Got it. The thing is, he's got a colossal navy. It's like massive, um, which means he's probably not too hot on other resources here. Although, man, we need to uh, we need to just do a little bit of this. Yeah, I figured as much. Wonder time. Let's go, yellow. Yeah. If see, if I had tried to build a wonder there, it could have been a little bit dicey. I knew I knew there was some funny business going on. All right. So uh, let's get you guys and get you into transport ships. And do this. Yellow is perusing the coast. I have two options, actually. I could do, um... I could actually do this. This might actually be a, just a straight-up better idea. Yeah, I do. I don't hate that. And then we do this. Coming for pink. Coming for pink? 
What does he mean for pink? Cute kitty? Pink's not in the game anymore. Okay. Okay, so let's start this. Do a little bit of that. You guys can just gather here. And delete this army. Uh, hmm, yeah, we delete this army here. Because we need to bolster it on the center here. And then we need to rebuild some uh, military infrastructure. Purple, I mean. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, so we don't want to grab that. We want to, like, turn that off. Because that's, like, a big tell there. Okay. The trading is going strong. The old keeps are coming. Okay. We got Chad Sky on the middle. Keeps are on their way. Wish I had more Vils out here. I mean, we can remedy that by taking all these Vils to the middle. Two. Okay, do this. Get cannon placements. And uh, it's going to be a hard hold for sure. We got a little bit of time left. Looks like Yellow still has some stuff on the island here. Let's go clear that off. Yellow's coming with his war canoes. I'm not sure if he's going after me or the Wonder, but our coastal trade is certainly in danger here. Oh, hello. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's see this, this, and this. Villagers need to hustle and get over here. We need their help building shit. In the meantime, that's going firm. Got springs. And now we can cap it. Alright, so we're going to pull the trigger now. It's going to take them a minute to respond for sure. So I think we're okay. This is a ballsy play, but I do have... I mean, I've been saving stone for a long time, so I'm hoping that it'll finally pay dividends here. Okay, let's build this. Do that. Villagers, have they landed? They have. So let's get over here and start setting up some infrastructure. Okay, we have the sacred site defense. Cool. Outstanding. He's got eight mangoes. Yeah, I'm not too interested in sieging him anymore. Maybe they won't notice the sacred site thing for a while, and that'll give me a little bit of room. Okay, let's keep some of you guys up here. With the keeps, and uh, we need to get you guys going here. <laughs> Look at Super Munchkin. He just now realized it. <laughs> oh, that's such a just let the villainous cackling go, dude. Oh, yeah, that's hilarious. That's really funny. Okay, so we need to get the springs down there so they can start shooting the ships. And uh, yeah, we need like positions, like units on both sides. Oh, God, nothing's better than just villainous laughter, dude. It's just It's just my favorite thing ever. Yeah, it's just great. Fortunately, our keeps could be in some danger. Granted, we have good repairs for them, so maybe we're going to be able to repair through some of this and start popping his fleet down. He's losing a lot, but, you know, so are we. We're losing a full-on keep with Chucks. We still have the other two. So let's see if we can keep these guys around for some repairs. We have no food whatsoever. We need to like sustain our food income a little bit. He's gonna have to land with something at some point. Okay, let's keep you guys lurking. Keep shooting those guys. We got the old keeps going. Wonder where he's going to go now. Go, my minions. Go. Then you run. Then you run even more. 
Uh oh, he's getting getting creative here. I'll take the springs to the north. <laughs> he's saying not cool. Oh, that's so funny, dude. All right, is there any wood over here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, we see. Did we? I thought those bushes were him for a second. The bushes that had landed. Okay. Unfortunately, we're losing some of our static defenses. Let's take you guys and push the coast. Okay, looks like there's an invasion coming from the north. The landing party. Okay, let's get on the landmark. Let's fight here. Spring are coming. Uh-oh. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold this, actually. Shit. Oh, my God. No way. He, he's, he's that rich? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Dear God. I thought he would be, like, broke on his island, but no. He's way richer than I expected. Oh, man. Okay, we're toast, guys. We're basically just toast. There's no way we get this. He got it. Desperate wonder rush time. Oh, okay. Maybe he's not going to get it. Maybe he's not going to get it. Come on, come on, come on. Get some units on there. Uh, we held the top, I think. No, no, we didn't. We didn't We didn't have, like, enough keeps, and the Navy was able to sweep us off. Yeah, damn shame. I did not think he would have that much. Okay, so now we need to just actually help the Wonder. As much as I don't want to, we, it's going to have to happen. So we go here, and yeah, we just go after it. We have eight minutes left. And we still have infrastructure in place for this. So we might be able to do something. Holy shit, I did not think he would have that. At least we still have a little time left. It's not it's not amazing, but it's uh, it's better than nothing. And like if I do if I manage to eliminate one of them. Yeah, I have no choice now. I definitely got to go for the wonder now. All right. So do we have any vills on this islands? We do have some. Looks like they were hidden in here. I am actually like low on wood for the first time in this game though. That was kind of an all in for me a little bit. Okay, so let's uh, get our party started. Let's get our boats. We have the old uh, the old trade going. All you guys need to come down here. Gather up. You might lose because of this. Well, yeah, of course. That's how it goes, dude. So then let's nail all these walls down. Let's get the trebuchets going here because that's what we're going to need. Yes, trebuchets of the gods. I have plenty of fishing now. I got I got enough fishing boats and also the trade boats and stuff, so it's 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 decent. I don't know if I can shoot past his walls. Let's see. I think we might be able to pop him here since the positioning's a little funky. Okay, I should be able to juke this. Make some transport ships. We're a little bit tight on time. It's all good. We took our shot and we failed. We took our shot. Probably, uh, I thought I would be able to defend that. I didn't expect um, Wookie to have that much money. That really surprised me. How's our eco? Yeah, our eco's. I guess our military's fat. Do we have military on the mainland here that's occupying us? No. I guess it's all right here, huh? All right, so let's grab a couple of you guys. Just come over and make you into transport ships. It's going to be quicker. Oops. Okay, we've cleared the bottom. And he's losing a fair amount of mangonels too, which is good. We do have a good army. It's decent. It's going to be able to land and put some pressure on, hopefully. And let's load up. You guys need to come over here. Supposed to be uh, transport ships. We're gonna get like one really good shot at the landing. Oh. He might not be able to replenish these. Cool. So there's only a couple left now. Alright, let's do this. Load you guys up. Load you guys up. Load up, load up. Come on, boys. Jump in there. We need to get everyone at once to have like a really solid push. Okay, so he's pulled back. We got four minutes left, looking pretty tough. 
Let's come over here. Up, uh, up, and up. And then you guys and you guys can jump into these ships here. You guys jump into those ships there. And yeah, we're basically... This is this is it. This is for all the marbles. I don't know what progress Yellow's having, but hopefully some. Oh, dude, I was surprised, man. I, I did not think he'd have an army like that. I was very slick that he had that. Granted, the more conservative route probably would be... No, 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 no! Oh, shit. Yellow's sinking my shit. Bad Yellow. Bad. Okay. One, two, three... Okay, so we need to get those. Hopefully, I still have some villagers on the boats. I do. Okay. Okay, so we're going to land over here. Keep knocking down all these walls to make it as big of an opening as possible. Hopefully, yellow doesn't get me here on accident. Ooh, yeah, his landmarks are bunched together pretty tight. That's true. That's that's we how we almost killed him earlier, you know. It's how we almost killed him earlier. Let's grab one sacred site back. All right, boys, come on. Let's land it. This is up for all the marbles here. Watch my entire army just get mangled to death. It's going to be really funny if that happens. All right. Got sanding. Let's head over here. Always like to set up a keep first if I can. Okay, pull back. Let's see if we can... Holy shit. Oh, there's no way this is going to work. He's just got like a million, a million mangoes back there. Unless yellow is having some success. This almost makes me think we wouldn't have had success either way. We'll see if yellow is nearby, but we're going to have to uh, muster a force from our uh, mainland here. Yeah, I mean, we're doing damage to his army, but it's mostly superficial. Like, the stuff that needs to die is the, uh, is the uh, big artillery pieces. Which is really, really hard to get to. Streltsy, you're taking some damage. Yeah, it's a, it's a good defense. It's a hell of a lot of mangoes. His army is getting torched on the shores, though. Um, but how long do we have? Two minutes? Yeah, it's not going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And uh-huh. We'll try, we'll try landing again. I mean, all we really need to get is a... Uh, is a couple of treb shots, but yeah, we don't even have like the resources for any trebs, do we? Yeah, we can try and get some going. We're gonna have one more like janky ass landing over here. Make more room. Two wonders until defeat. Okay. So what civ is he, by the way? He's Roos, yeah. So he probably used Golden Gate to trade. Very smart. I felt like we were in the winning position, and we took a risk that uh, failed. It's a shame. But, you know, it's the nature of the beast. If it had worked, it would be viewed as a good play. Well, the thing is, if I killed Wookiee, I don't think we would have been able to kill um, Nomad as easily. Maybe me and Yellow could have, maybe. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tall order there. Okay, so we just got to take whatever we can get here. Just whatever jank. All right, boys, let's go. We'll get this landmark in case Yellow's having some success there, maybe. I would imagine he's been able to rebuild adequately well. Okay, team. Let's drop it. Come on. Wookie earned this one, man. He played like a champ. A couple spearmen getting out. Let's send the Rams to straight for the wonder. It's all we got. 50 seconds, you know. If it contributes anything, then it's worth... Oh, no way. GG, well played, dude. Great game. That was a really good game, dude. He, he's he got it. Yeah, he's got it in the bag. Another 30 seconds. Unless yellow is close. Which I don't think so. The fact that he... Uh, enemy destroyed old Wookiee's landmark? Okay, maybe. I'll hang for a couple more seconds. But ultimately, I think we're toast. I think we're in big danger, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yellow might be delving in. But like, I feel like we would have seen a reaction. Okay, we're actually in range of a lot of his artillery. Let's see if we can pop some of these. Maybe help our ally out. 13 seconds. Any attacks? Uh, I don't see anything coming in from Super Munchkin here. Oh! Uh, any attacks? Well played! Wookie played a great game, dude. You know? He, he, uh, and he actually followed through with his word, too. He came in and he, uh, 
I'm surprised yellow wasn't trading on the other side of the map too. I feel like there was probably some really open trade. God damn, it's hot in here today. All good. Took a risk, didn't work. You know, what we could have done is we could have had a, a politic of, of trying to force Wookiee to delete based on the sacred sites. Let's see what the map looked like. Was yellow trading? Okay, yellow seemed to be pretty much out of resources. Oh, no, we... Yeah, didn't work. Um, yeah, it's adequately defended. He's got some stone wall towers and stuff. It's pretty good, dude. It's pretty good. Yeah, well played. That was a really fun one, man. Oh, I'm playing two games today, baby. We're going we're going for round two, but this next one's going to be a land battle, so it won't be uh, won't be water. All right, guys, feel free to join up. Let's see what you got. Test your might. Delving from the other side now. Nah, it, it looked like he was just getting crushed on the shores like like I was. Neither of us had the tools. We would have needed three people to crack him, I think. Um, Turin FFA2. All right, join up and uh, let's get a map. We'll do a mega random. Mega randoms are always fun. Could do mountain clearing. Wetlands. Hey, we got the whole crew. Smeagol in here. Uh-oh, the dread Smeagol, dude. And let's fire it up. Large map size will make it a little bit quicker. And uh, somebody wanted to see Ottomans. I don't really know how to play them, but... Oh, we already have three Ottomans in the game, though. So I think we'll probably play someone else. Your fleet destroyed me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a wild game, dude. It was a wild one. Delhi could be fun. We have two Ottomans. I would be the third. We have English. Have fun. Let's go China. I want to. I want to use some fire lancers. Good luck. Have fun. We already have two Ottomans, or else I'd play them. Yeah, it's either HRE or China. I've been playing China in ranks lately, which has been pretty fun. Been winning some games, starting to get back into the the flow of things. It feels like people have gotten a lot better too. I did have a sum trade that game. It was a pretty pitiful amount, though. It was just very short trade. I was kind of blocked because Wookiee's fleet was like embargoing one side and then yellow was pinning me in on the other side. So I couldn't like get trade going. Change the biome. What's wrong with the biome? Is it like desert? Hell yeah, made a stream. Welcome. Yeah, thank you guys for joining. If you're enjoying the stream, do drop a like. It's time for us to suffer in some... Uh... Let me open the door here. It's getting real sweaty. The sun is just like blazing on my window as it sets right now. Yeah, man, I can't wait for Japan and Byzantines. It's going to be fun. There might be another game after this. We'll see how my hands feel after. If it's a fast one, then yeah, we'll do we'll do another one. So we got the Lamb on Malians, Fish Fish on English, Ottoman Skeleton Mage, Professor Finbar on Delhi, Prime on the Autos, uh, Captain Miller on the HRE, Smeagol on English, and myself on China. So, yes, yes. Ever thought about doing, oh, the Outback Octagon mod? Yeah, I've done it before. That's the one that the they use for the, the Microsoft tournament, right? Yeah, I think I think that was the case. Alright. Okay, let's go scouting. Yeah, cute kitty was pretty tyrannical that game. Absolutely. I was having some problems. You too, good luck, have fun to everyone. Alright. Let's keep scouting the neighbor here. I don't really know, like, like proper Chinese build orders, but overall. Oh God, of course there's water. Shit. Well, that's going to change my build order pretty substantially. Turn on China and Chris on English. Priority, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I don't mind. If you guys kill me early, you know, it's all good. It'll save my hand the suffering that it's about to uh, endure here. Yeah. Yeah, I have to, like, manipulate them into going after Smeagol first. It's got to be the case. Wow, okay. So this is this is something here. Outback is Drongo. Yeah, 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 it's him. That's right. But I think Microsoft put up the prize money for that, for the event. That's probably why I thought that. Hey, thank you for the 50. Appreciate it. Thank you, Spice. Hope you're enjoying the, the sweaty action here. Okay, so we see the water. So obviously that's going to happen. Professor Finbar is chilling up there with Delhi. We are hitting the trees pretty hard now, so hopefully that will uh, allow us to get some naval action going soon. Chris, if you're my neighbor, I didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, I like how they're politicking already, dude. You guys want some decent farms? Or this is the wrong place. If you want like decent, symmetrical-looking farms, you're you are straight up in the wrong neighborhood, dude. 
Alright, let's go down here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised we had so many wonders last game. It was interesting. Usually on those island maps, it's a little bit harder. Stone, you know, it doesn't seem to be as prevalent, but, um... Come on, buddy. Keep waddling up there. Keep it going. We have taxes to collect. Yeah, we collect some taxes. The tax man cometh. It's quite a journey up here to get to the Forbidden Lands. Another relic behind us. We need to see who our corner friends are. Professor Finbar. Just magnetized to my, uh, to my dude here. Really gonna attack me? You know that dock's gonna finish. It's it's gonna happen. Hopefully I don't have to like fight Professor Finbar like right away. That would be pretty annoying. That would be very troll. Could build the barbecue of the sun up here. Obviously can repair this dock as needed. Collecting the old taxes. So far so good. I don't know if I even need to mine gold. Since I can probably tax my way there. Tempted to set up a tower there early. Some sort of defense. Between you and T90 on the farms, is it just... Yeah, it probably is. Does T90 do ugly farms too? Okay, so we got Fish Fish down here. It looks like he's playing uh, English. Okay. Scary, scary. We uh, always respect the English. Our fishing eco is going to be sauced up here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this. We can put it right here. In case we get raided, give our villagers a spot to hide. We could get the Delhi, the Delhi raid. That could happen. Like Delhi could roll up with um, a bunch of uh, a bunch of troll things. All right, let's go look around. Professor Finbar reaching feudal age, which makes me think he's not in the water. Definitely doesn't. Probably not in the water. With that being the case, Should probably grab a little bit of this. Get some resources there. Drop off these sheep that we found. We have an okay spot. It's not like perfect, but it's not bad. Uh, we'll see how I feel after this game. Depending, if this is like a long grind, then I might might be the last one, but there's a chance we'll do another one. Alright, so tax man, go collect the taxes. Now we need to see who's up in that corner, or if anybody else is playing water, really. It's foolish not to play water. That is for damn sure. Okay, the boats are going strong. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start gathering stones so I can eventually upgrade that dock to have the little arrow arrow emplacement. And then I think we're ready to party. Any sort of military pressure? Am I going to get attacked early? I don't know. You never know, man. Alright, so we'll probably do the old uh, Imperial Academy here in a second. Oh man, we need a boat to turn in. Love when that happens. It's my favorite. Come on, boat. Turn in. So let's go ahead and set up the Imperial Academy. Uh, we could just do that right there to collect the sweet taxes on all those landmarks. Looks like Teal is nearby, circling about. Okay. Keeping the boats going. Seems like we're we're doing all right. I, I don't know why I just have a feeling I'm going to get raided. Like, I just have this, like, fear that England's going to be at my doorstep with longbows in a minute. So I should probably do something about that. Um, maybe we can do a little bit of this. This. It's a little bit, like, a little bit greedy, I would say. Because it's a hell of a lot of wood we're spending, but... Okay, so we found Teal. Teal's here with a horseman. That's interesting. So we can just, uh, we can basically just build a combat boat there as soon as we age up and should be able to stop that. It would be pretty bad if we got that shut down. That would be uh, very unfortunate. Because that's, like, all of our food straight up. Okay, he's coming for blood. Let's make a war junk. Do this and this. Okay. Then we need to make another Imperial official here in a minute. Hmm. Yeah, the repairs are going, which is good. The war junk's popping. Seems like everybody wants a piece of this right now. Come on, war junk. Get there. Okay, those warships should be able to protect us. Now we have to worry about English incursions from the south. Maybe not as much. Okay, can we pull a couple of bills to go repair that? I really can't afford to lose this. Let's pull back so they can't reach me. And then we also slap you down. Get some spears going over there. 
All right, I really need this to not die. And I think we're stable with two boats here. The fact that he's sending horsemen in that are failing is going to be um, a pretty big boon for us. And now if he goes water, I can punish him too. All right, cool. So now we get the Song Dynasty. So let's go ahead and um, build that up here, which I think would be a good idea. So are you. Look at him. He's trying to act like he's the only, like I'm the only one on water here. You dirty dog. Look at him, dude. Pure villainy, I say. Okay. So let's go take down his Bagla if we can. Try and knock that down. Get the old demo ship. Is it my demo ship really stuck for real? Oh my god. Okay, so we almost have enough. So let's slap the barbecue of the sun down like right here. Oh, that's not good. Looks like I got demo shipped. And this barbecue is not going to last. Um, we could do the barbecue over here. Okay, let's garrison up there. We need to deal with these damn horsemen. And it looks like we may be forced out of the water, which sucks. In that case, what we do is we go song. We just uh, we just basically go um, 2 TC song. Might be able to hold this. It's going to be dicey. Come on, big ship. It sucks that I'm having to invest in this early combat. It's really going to slow everyone down. Okay, so let's slap down the barbecue of the sun uh, over here so we can turn in, do this, and then we hopefully can stabilize here. Yeah, because people are reaching Castle Age while I'm squabbling here. This is this is really not good. I do want to get the stone to get that, and we do have the deep sea fishing, which is still kicking in. We're going to go Song 2TC. Um, let's upgrade this. I need to get more officials out. So supervise a little bit better. Okay, let's jump on that. Still have taxes in there, so we need the tax man to get to collecting. Yeah, I'm going to be very behind now. I, although Captain Miller might be playing like HR years, something I'm actually not even sure. Let's see if we could like pop some ships. Take down the combat ship here. Okay, demo ship could come out and wreck us. He's probably building one right now. All right, let's pull back. Get this upgrade. You guys jump on stone. Set up another village here. Oh man, okay. So that's good for us. We do have the dock upgrade coming along. I believe I lost three villagers over there, so that sucks pretty bad. We have a tax man on the road. Let's max out on our officials here. It's gonna be our second TC. Okay, gonna get the demo ship just to be secure and safe, precious. This conflict has dragged us, but we do have water, food, which is really nice. Gonna get a second TC over here well, as soon as we can. So we'll hit those resources hard. Let's get a supervisor. Can you go supervise this? Let's go down with this explosive junk now, see if we can find anything. We need to push him out of the water. He's been, he's probably really behind too, because he's been, uh, you know, trolling me. He's been making horsemen and stuff too. Okay, looks like he's just kind of giving up on water. He's just going to take whatever he can. Okay, so we need to position here and position here so we don't get demoed if I'm not paying attention. And cool. So now you guys can come here and do this and set up a TC right there. We'll knock him out of the water slowly but surely. And then we just go uh, next stage. That's basically it. That is basically it. All right, you men, start collecting taxes. We can get a couple of you guys still doing your thing here. And uh, yeah, our food our food eco should be solid. Naval tr trade here is actually an option too. Kind of is. Um, set up a tower there. 
Our neighbors to the south have been very, very chill, thankfully. All right, tax collectors, TC is coming, so we're gonna have the song, the song boom. Okay, so that's done. Let's go see if he's uh, doing anything up north. He's obviously gonna be one of our bigger geopolitical enemies. Let's make some spearmen just to be safe, because I know he has horse tech, so if the horses arrive then. We're kind of in a bit of a sandwich position, but I'm gonna set up my other landmark like up here, a little bit further away, so hopefully that will uh, be fine. Let's take you guys, head up here. That's where the landmark's gonna go, so. A lot of relics to be taken over there. There's a whole lot of relics. All right, guys, let's get you on the deer. Water's looking okay. Let's keep making fishing boats. I'm going to trade our way to the next age here. And uh, we can set up the... Hmm, we'll set up the Imperial Palace here first. It's a little bit janky, but... All right, I think this will be fine. It's it's a nice little like safe corner. Let us kind of see where everybody's uh, what everybody's up to. All right, let's uh, hustle back down here. Thank you guys. And then we can go ahead and make some of these. Start getting the military tech going. All right, feeling pretty good. Our food eco is not great outside of the fishing, but uh, the fishing is going quite well. Mass horsemen. Good thing I made some spears. I I'm gonna lose that though. It's gonna set us back for a moment. All right, guys, let's do that. Pull a couple of you workers, come up here, do this, uh, do that. And then you guys can basically just uh, jump on this gold after. So we can see where everybody is. All right, oh, it's, dude, that's such a powerful, powerful landmark there. All right, so we've gotten the next age. Let's go ahead and get a religious landmark. Can pop that right there. The troll Ghazi riders. That's uh, fine, we'll just remake the dock there and it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Keep those guys defending here. And I might even still want to get some granaries. I might still. And uh-huh, and uh-huh. Just to really, really set it off. All right, so the dock's coming. We need to go grab relics. Delhi's definitely gonna get a bunch. Okay, I start hitting wood pretty hard. Food is sparse. Cool, so we're back in business. So the fishing boat should be taken off and that's gonna sauce our food. Keep these guys nearby and we can just actually put them on patrol to go over here. Oh, it looks like he's trying to get back in the water. All right, we should probably do something about that. Horseman raid right into our spears. Yes, yes. Yes, good. Band a couple of these guys out here and let those spears fight. Okay, he's gonna lose a hell of a lot of spears fighting that way. All right. Supervise that. He lost pretty much all of his horsemen. Uh, looks like we traded ships there with some sort of a demo ship memory. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get those sweet granary uh, farms going soon so that we're not so dependent on this very precarious position up in the north, right? Okay. And then you come over here, buddy, and grab this and then come back. What is our eco at now? 83. Man, Song Dynasty is so rad. So, so rad. The, the temptation of the Fire Lancer calls to me. Alright, yellow in the south though is a little bit scary. Don't know what he's up to. He's been awfully quiet. You guys ready to see some ugly farms? Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's, let's be honest here. That wasn't too bad at all. That's going to be a sweet food economy. Just some like random horsemen. They're just like scouting the land, dude. It's pretty funny. All right, so tax man's still collecting, which is good. Let's go get these. We need to pull back. He's still raiding us and trolling. Uh, I think it would probably be a prudent time to start on some stone walls. Okay, so let's take homie. Let's go over there. We got the one relic. And, uh, yes. 
Let's make some more infrastructure here. We have enough for the village. We do. Outstanding. All right, guys. Let's get those relics. Uh, do we want to do this? Sure, why not? Let's set that up. The village should be coming up in a second. Should solve our housing issues. And then we can do a little bit of this. Yeah, do we want to? I feel like it's not worth. All right, so dragging that back, and then we can have you come and grab this one. If we get three relics and can fill up three pagodas, dude, like I'm gonna be pretty soaked on that. That'll feel pretty good. All right, let's get more fishing boats. Our food economy is coming together. It's an absolute thing of beauty. Look at this, guys. You love it. You love it. I'm super excited for the expansion. Yeah, I'm very, very hyped for it. It's going to be turbo fun. So now we basically just go Imperial here, guys. Um, probably set up some tower networks so we can kind of see if anybody's going to get crazy on us. There's going to be any sort of aggression. Got a little bit of stone being gathered. Not a ton, but enough to be helpful. And then we just go... Uh, we can even go Fire Lancer Dynasty next. It's basically have 20 Spearmen. I feel like just pressing over there isn't a bad idea. Let's do this. Let's get the clock tower. Clock tower can go back here. And you guys, we need to do a little something here. And then one more trade. Cool. We're just going to take our spears over and go, go say hello to our neighbors. Okay, you guys, is there any more exciting tree lines to work on? Yes, there is. Go back there, and then Homeboy can start uh, supervising the food. Let's get some upgrades. Let's go, like, guard that last relic and see if we can get our clutches on it. No scariness in the water, but even if we get pushed out of the water now, it's uh, not a huge deal. Are those not being built? Upgrades. You can get Imperial here pretty easily. Then you come back this way, homie. Nice, nice. Professor Finbar is still in H2. Holy shit. Oh, that's not good for him. He's about to get a pissed off Imperial China coming at him. Alright, so we're going to get the Great Wall Gatehouse. Probably, we have Barbican here. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have it. He's got a lot of archers, so yeah, let's run back. Yeah, it's fine. We got what we came for. Okay, so the Great Wall Gatehouse can be set up. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Right here doesn't seem bad. It seems like this is where a lot of like hostility would come from. So we just slap it right there and then we're, we're good to go. All right. All is good there. Great Wall Gatehouse is going to come down in a second once we finish this up. I usually play pretty villainous, yeah. But I, I, I'm I willing to listen to reason, you know. Okay, so yellow's down there. I, I want to I wanna take out Finbar, not because he's like the strongest, but because he's he's like right, he's like been harassing my water, which I really don't want to lose. Yeah, so that's, that's a tricksy one. Okay, do this. Set some more of those up. Great Wall Gatehouse is coming down. And we haven't finished that one, so let's go finish this. Here, and here, and here. Then I think I'm going to hide the Spirit Way in the corner. Oh yeah, and then now, now the dreaded Pagoda system is going to be coming online. Fully armed and operational Pagoda. That'll give us that sweet Chinese economy. It's pretty crazy all that um, all that China does. They have they seem to have a lot of a lot of powerful tricks. All right, let's get you to finish off this wood, ladies and gentlemen. And you're supervising. You're collecting taxes. You're supervising. You're supervising. All right. So everybody seems to be doing something more or less correct. So we'll sneak a couple workers down to the bottom here. I'm gonna go like right into that corner and see if I can hide Spirit Way down there. And uh, just kind of keep keep my landmarks kind of parceled off. Okay, we need more gold. All right, so pagoda time. Get you over there, buddy, and you over there. 
It's funny, you gotta get used to not deleting like random uh, random nodes when you're playing China. Okay, blue is taking gold in the middle. I have a couple gold nodes over here, so the idea is I'm gonna go slap down some keeps here and secure that ground. Let's move our army over. Get some uh, Imperial upgrades and whatnot. Red HRE has all the middle, it's not me that you want. Look at Smeagol acting like he's not a threat. I love it. Okay, and then we can do that. Gotta secure this. In the meantime, I'll have you guys just grab the stone. All right. So, you know, we knew this day would come. When the when the Age of Man would come crashing down. But uh, now it's time to deliver Gotham's Reckoning. With our good quality army. Okay, so the fishing boats are trying to hold. I mean, is that really all that he has? Is he getting attacked by someone else or something? Like, what's going on? Might be. I'm not sure, dude. Anyways, let's go over here and build a, build a couple of these so we can start spamming out some rams. And then we can come back and do this. I don't have the best supply lines here, so I'm kind of just like, yeah. Gotta stay away from the coast, move up and do his base. I doubt he has any relics or anything. Here's his army. It's very potato. Uh... England is kind of looking a little crunk over here. We might have to go battle them. So I'm going to just try and have a swift fell strike here to finish off uh, our, our good friend here. So let's get you. Get these siege upgrades coming. Presser Finbar has finally reached Castle Age. All right, let's get up to the main base. Should be able to steamroll pretty hard. And then Pagoda. Yeah, I can see his army here. No problem. England and I have having a little peace over here, even though he doesn't need the gold as much as me, but you know. We're gonna we're gonna be homies. He's trying to desperation build towers. Alright, you guys attack. Okay, he's pretty much dead. Oh, but a counter raid to my base. Clever girl. What are these? Just Gazi riders and stuff? Okay, so we're gonna take some L's here for sure. One, two, three, four, and then you guys do this and this. We're gonna go like just full on shut him down though. And our our spawning unit should be able to defend. Nope. Okay, how are we looking here? Villagers have taken that down. And then they can go here and then here. He's taken some casualties on the main TC. We now have some defenders out, so that should be good. All right, so the Great Wall Gatehouse should salvage that. Last of the archers going down here. Let's chase these guys. We do have rams coming up north too, so let's get those rams coming. All right. Oh no, my monk went down. All right. So yeah, that was a good little counter harass by him. It definitely slowed me down a little. But at the end of the day, I think we're okay. Um, let's get the Imperial official upgrade, do that. You guys back to the farms. And I believe the other TC is also offline at the moment, too. Yeah, he doesn't have any relics. His farms are pretty much offline. Let's go up here. Take him down. Cool. Some more idle workers. Yeah, they're, they're hiding all over the place, I know. Um, we got the wall network there. And then let's continue the wall network here. And here. Okay, let's chase these guys down. Rams should be approaching. Yeah, they are. They're here. Good. So let's go here, here, and here. And take you guys. A couple of you to go start picking off bills. We have to worry about England. England could get a little bit crazy on us. They absolutely could. Absolutely could. Okay, let's re get our farm set up again. Set up a defensive keep there, in case we get raided. Looks like his villagers want blood, so we're just going to go into the corner and lumberjack safely. Come on, knights. Finish him off. Yellow and orange are teaming. Wow, he's, he's you know he's serious if he's yelling it in all caps, too. That's how you know he's serious. Okay, we don't need this much wood. England is not aggressing on us. They're just grabbing goodies. This was a nice little spot up here, though, that he had Professor Finbar. Yeah, it was a nice spot. 
that going to be the end of him? He's probably hiding a lot. No, nope, he's dead. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go up here. Do this. Just finish ramming through the base. Is there any point to finish ramming here? Does he have a market? Ah, oh, it doesn't look like it. It's fine. Alright, let's take our army south. Do this. Pagodas are fully online. You do well played. And, uh, cool. So these guys are gonna hustle. Take a couple of you guys. Do this. And I think that's enough bills for now. I think we're okay. Yes. 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 Alright guys, it's time for some fun, fun games. Some fun times. Villagers, you're hustling up. You can go pop that down in the corner there. Nice little spot. Uh, do I delete the rams? Yeah, I think we just free up supply. And you guys are going to see why. In a moment. And then we got 125 villagers. You guys can, uh, we can keep the knights. Because they're still going to be synergistic with what we're trying to do. Okay, so we need to get uni upgrades. Let's do that to just speed it along. Tax people are collecting. He should be supervising. Let's go supervise there. All right, so there's some decent trade options in the middle. Um, we could go like, yeah, I guess we could go up there. Okay. Need to get all my military tech online. Do that, and then you guys can get some of this. Grenades. You, you're thinking. You're thinking. You're thinking to uh, some boring, boring stuff. I think there's way more fun we can have here. Even though it might not win us the game, I think we're here for here for the good times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So let's take what gold's left up here. Yes, Anakin. Yes. Let the hate flow. Okay, I think that's all my military buildings. I definitely could use some archer ranges. Where else do we need keeps, if at all? I don't know if we do. I don't know if we do. Yeah, probably need to get more farm eco going. This thing basically has no taxes in it, so I don't feel too bad deleting that. Okay, we our fishing yeah our fishing fleet did get destroyed. That was what slowed us down. Yeah, son of a gun. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll we'll set you guys up here. The Dark Lord, yes, that's our game plan. Got to take all the gold scraps where we can. Okay, so that we have good adequate defenses. We have this random pocket of troopers, which we don't want because we want to free up supply. For the dreaded Fire Lancers, maybe. The question is, whose base do we go after, you know? Gotta do some scouting. Okay, we actually know where all of his landmarks are, so... We could go for that. That would be pretty funny. Uh, I'm, I believe I got most of the Blacksmith upgrades, or at least they're pretty close to being done. I think I was pounding those earlier. Uh, not quite. Not quite done. Yeah. Who the hell is my Blacksmith? Did it get destroyed in the raid? Oh, I think he might have actually destroyed it. I think he did. I was wondering why my upgrades weren't like fully there. You're actually proud of me having a decent number of farms? I know, it's, it's, I did this just for you. Just for you. Okay, somebody's going for sacred sites. Let's go here. Get some fish going. Alright. I could have sworn I had those, but I guess not. Alright, I think this is enough. This Dread Legion here is mighty good. Alright, let's, let's go party. Let's ride to the middle, see what we can find. <laughs> oh yes, dude. Hmm. They will go after you, Yellow, says Smeagol. Is Smeagol is Yellow? Let's see. I'm going to chill for a second and see what they're thinking. Do you have any Abbasid players in the game? Red, I think we should be friends. Okay, Red is prime. As long as Smeagol is dying, I'm happy. 
Yeah, we're gonna let Smeagol die. I think we let Smeagol die. We just chill out. There's no reason for us to be brash. Just get all of our eco upgrades. Um, yeah. Yeah, if they're killing Smeagol, then I don't want to interrupt that. You know what I'm saying? Because if Smeagol lives, then the game becomes exponentially harder. Um, 127 here. Yeah, we can afford to cut some of these. No, I don't know why I was making spears. Tax man's going around. Let's have him supervise. It'll make it faster, actually. Yellow and Smeagol are probably having a duel of fates, I would wager. They've got to be fighting, right? Um, I could start trading, like, here to here. This actually isn't a bad idea. We're not, like, in huge need of trade yet. It's going to be hard with the English nearby. Who is all fighting? I could just dive Smeagol's base. You guys want me to just dive Smeagol's base? Okay, let's just do that. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Yeah, you know, Gollum, Smeag like, he always lies. He's never telling the truth. That's the problem with being a schemer all the time. Is your credibility points are kind of like, you know, not as great. Let's just ride to Smeagol's base, dude. Okay. I hear, like, cannon explosions and shit. Okay. Do this. Set up a dock here. <laughs> Look at this army here, dude. Oh my god. Yellow, I Gondor rides to your aid, bro. Let's just butcher some of these guys real quick. Okay. <laughs> Look at him running, dude. Look at Smeagol running and panicking. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, I love the Fire Lancer thing. It's so funny, dude. He says, oh, God. Look, look, he's panicking, dude. <laughs> the question is, is there a way into his base? Because it looks like he's all, all stonewalled. Okay, let's run away. There's no way into his base. So let's just explore and see what we can do and just go do some harassing. Kill his keeps here, why not? Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll remake them as they die too. Okay, take down the keeps. That'll help the other players in the neighborhood. Okay, so let's ride north. He's he's stonewalled, so he's not going to be an easy kill. Oh, here we go. That's right, you little gremlin, dude. Somebody's got to keep Smeagol in check, or else he's just going to run bananas. Oh, that's funny. He's got his little bills there. Just trundling away. Okay, let's just ride north now. If we can keep him suppressed, I would say that's a that's a win con for us, right? Alright, so let's see what this looks like. Fishing boats are still going. Probably delete those. Okay, here we go. Here's more Smeagol infrastructure. No, it looks like it's one of the players he's knocked down. I can't let him trade, because he's just going to wonder and beat everyone. I'm Sigmar's hope here, dude. Yeah, it's pretty terrible, that naval trade. Pretty terrible. Let's go see what he's up to in the middle. Okay, doesn't really feel worth it. I mean, I guess for now it's better than nothing. We need to get some, like, solid land-based trade going. Let's go clear out the middle. You're good, English. If he attacks me, the Fire Lancers will descend on his base like a locust plague, but aside from that, he's going to be okay. 
Okay. Anything we want to do here? Not really. Okay, let's go down down here and see if we can find any openings. Just troll about. Uh-huh. Let's get our trade ships and they can return here. Slightly further route. We're cackling up in the north. So far, we're safe. Let's see if we can do this, actually. Ah, uh, it's going to be hard to get through all these spears. Okay, let's get you guys. Build this. That's going to let us see where Smeagol's armies are. Okay, he's literally trapped in the corner. He doesn't have any villagers doing anything elsewhere. Looks like he's trying to do a little something here. Alright, so let's do this. Set this up here. Would have been nice to like have a landmark over there for sure. Hello, Smeagol. I've come to meet with you again. Don't know if we're going to be able to fit anything here. But we will try. Yeah, because otherwise he's just going to kill Red. If I if I don't help Red, Red's going to die. Okay, we just got a bunch of, bunch of bills there. Go see if we can find any way in. Oops, wrong button. How can we actually get a, uh, a dock up here is the question. Hmm. I think if we lumberjack some of these trees, maybe. Can we get a dock? Not quite. Maybe if we chop a little bit more. Smeagol's just having fun chasing me. He's, he's getting his jollies. Okay, let's go take those bills down. Hmm, not quite. We might just, we just straight up might not have the room here, guys. Smeagol loves these raids, dude. It's his favorite thing in the world. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> We've got in! Alright, let's slap some of these bad boys down. England's had enough. They're like, okay, enough enough of you like hanging out on our shores here. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to get a spot there. Hey, look at that. And our fire lancers get out, the, like the smooth criminals they are. England might get a little crazy on us now, though. I'm a little bit nervous about that. Um, might be time to take them out, or try to at least. He's gathering up with a pretty nasty little army. Hmm, it's not looking like we have any opportunities there, so this trade will have to do. It's, it's okay. It's, it's respectable. It gives us both of our primaries. Make some nasty bees in case he tries to cross here. Slap down a keep. Alright, boys. So we have this just in case. Smeagol has been uh, left to his own devices. Is he trading anywhere? We need to go set up some uh, shit near this trade post to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, he's coming for me. So it's going to get pretty crazy here pretty quick. Okay, so let's go get our jollies off here. Do a little bit of this. Gather here. We have a moment before he arrives, the English army. Not too long. Yeah, we'll uh, optimize the dock situation here soon. It's fine. For now, we're, we're doing okay. Alright, so Smeagol's coming out. I'm a little concerned because I have these two enemies like right next to me here, which is very scary. Okay, the rest of the troopers can start gathering here. I think he lumberjacked through, so I'm going to get into his base. The question is, does he have defenses? Hmm, looks like he might be fully sealed in. It's unfortunate. Let's see. What's it going to be, man? Have any bills nearby? Not really. Looks like he's fully, fully locked in. 
So we would need to uh, we would need to pull some bills. So we'll take down this keep and grab a couple villagers. Wherever the hell they are. Here you go, guys. Go and come down here. Set up some rams. And yeah, we are officially under siege. We are Steven Seagal under siege here. We could also do a big flank when the time comes. All right, so that's gonna go down. We're gathering our troopers over here now. Uh, probably grenadiers. I could have sworn I had more archery. I'm just gonna need some more of those. Uh, not really. Just my corner. Okay. So the attempted politics. Let's pull back here. We're gonna have to optimize trade soon. Otherwise, we could be in a little bit of danger. Is there any sense in repairing this? Not really. Okay. Scout it. Uh, I ain't using it. Okay, let's get you guys all ready to go. Is he going to move through? Doesn't look like it. No, he's just going to sit back there. Hmm. The problem is Smeagol is building up now. And there, people need to remember how dangerous he is. You know, Gollum is, is very terrifying. English need to go. Although, I don't know. I was literally defending Red against uh, Smeagol. Buying him a little bit of time. Okay, let's just grab these gold nodes if we can. I need to clear my queue. What is he, just chain sieging that ship? Let's go around here. Maybe we just do this and go this way, actually. A couple units over chased here, it's fine. We'll pick them off. You guys need to go here. Do some of these. It's been hard to get any freebies here. It's been tricksy. Hmm, yeah, unfortunately I can't quite get a dock up there. Let me see if there's any way I could. Alright, you guys, you do that. Taking down a couple English units there. Let's grab some stone. Just kind of like stalling and being greedy, basically. Ottoman speed trade, good, good. I'm glad there's another, like, if the Ottomans, if Smeagol's busy with the Ottomans, that's good. Mm-hmm. Let's get some bombards. Just kind of run in circles, troll a little bit. We can come down here and use our uh, landmark to see where they're mining. Okay, looks like there's a whole bunch of miners there, so I'm just going to dart right past these guys. Head those guys off, and that's going to free up some supply. I definitely have plenty of gold to work with. Alright, so let's go down here, hunt these bills. Meanwhile, we'll uh, knock our way in here. Okay, the villagers were down here somewhere. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh, he just lost so many bills. Okay, let's get you up here, buddy. He just lost a hell of a lot of villagers, man. Let's go down here, take this down. Start paying attention to this. You guys get ready to party. Okay, he's got some stuff going down. Let's set up a little tower here to be cute. Now we can run the Fire Lancers in and start raiding his base. Which is going to be very nasty, and I think he's still busy down here dealing with my raids. Can I get in? Yes, we can. Cool. Alright, so let's get you guys, you grenades. Get some nested bees, do this. Fire Lancers to run by, go see if we can find anything in the base. It ain't going to be easy, but we'll try. Alright. Yeah, once we get that critical mass of nest of bees, we should be able to just devastate him. Easier said than done, of course, but yeah, he's building up that wartime infrastructure now. Let's come down here with some bills. Okay. 
Take down that cannon tower. Yeah, the, the holy Chinese hand grenades are coming now. It's gonna be nasty, nasty. Dive those spring alds. Tower on the periphery's in a little bit of danger. Um, we do have 10,000 wood, so we could probably be pretty, pretty uh, frivolous with that. We're gonna need to start trading here in a minute, for sure. All right, boys. Progress is progress. Knock some holes in the walls. You guys do this. You'll see why. Pretty obvious. You shooting my keep here? Yes, wow, look at that. We need to knock down these walls. The grenades are doing good, but they can be killed by the, um, what's it called? by those other things, the longbows of doom. Against England, you can't, it's really hard even as China to win head-on fights. But as long as you um, start split pushing them, they really do struggle actually. Nest the bees. Let the nest the bees float. Okay. No, Ottomans, I'm helping you, stop. Get out of here with that. Ooh, that was some big damage there. We need to get back for a second, gather our gather our bearings. Uh, did I ever get Tithe Barns? I don't think I did. Probably get that too. Alright, so let's gather them up. We need this to work. It's a, it's a bit of a play. Let's keep grinding. Keep grinding. Yeah, England is, is gnarly to grind against. The infinite gold in their food income is like makes it very hard. But you know, again, we got we got plans for that. Okay, let's do that. If we can get an art artillery death star, we might be able to just start steamrolling, we'll see. Um looks like orange is over here. What is our eco at? 100? So our eco isn't even that off the chain, so I don't think I want to cut any bills. Uh, I might have forgotten to get one or two upgrades here. Those nasty bees are so cool. Okay. Gather those bad boys up. Let's make sure to shoot the right targets. Shoot the right targets. And now you guys can go knocking on Heaven's door here. Let's get the hand cannoneers embroiled in combat. Ooh, man, that's some deeps right there. Okay. Nice. Getting some good steamrolling. Get you guys to go here. Oh yeah, man, that's the bees are really good. Well, they are taking some L's right now though. Alright, let's get in. Man, you guys keep going. We have to occupy his attention here. Alrighty. So far, so good. Yep, the Rams are doing it. They're being mighty disruptive. Now we go after some of the houses. He's gonna have problems with that. We go after this. And uh, we just keep getting you guys in. And if we just keep trading evenly here, then he's gonna lose, because the other side is just a disaster. That's how you do it. That's how you deal with the English, man. You can't, you can't beat them head up. You gotta use the haggard tactics. Okay. So that's going to shut down some money for him. He's losing supply. And uh, unfortunately, he has sealed me out for now. But we are going to get right back in there. I don't know. His last landmark's down there, so that could be a little bit hard to get to. But we might be able to. We'll see. I, don't, I wonder if he notices this. He might not. He's probably microing like his heart out over there on the other side. I mean, he's losing bills. It's, it's basically just over now. Just even trading here is a win for us. Okay. 
Okay, let's take down all the landmarks. So that's one, two, three. Now we just need to get Wingard. And he's toast. And then we get all those relics and, you know, we're cackling. All right, let's do that. He still thinks this is the main combat. Is there any more gold around? Yeah, this is where we need to establish trade like stat. All right, can we knock this down? His farms are in shambles. Making a little progress here, but nothing we can't survive. Can we knock this down, please, for the love of God? Let's make sure he's not repairing anything. Okay, you guys take the gatehouse down. Looking good. All right, outstanding. So obviously we sacrificed quite a bit on the front end. Um, it let him push a little ground, but it gives us the uh, the business in the back right now. Plus he didn't react to it, so um, you know that's that's what you get. He kept fighting in the front, but now Smeagol's here. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we need to grab our monks. Do we have any monks laying around? Yeah, I don't think we have any. I think they all died. Hmm. So Smeagol's pushing us. Um, that's, you know, not great, obviously. Let's go down and just send the Rams over to Smeagol, give him a Christmas present. We'll guard here. Gather up. We do have a node in our base, I still, I guess, which is cool. Oh, hello. TC, and where's my other TC? It's over here. Yeah. Get those guys going here. Grab some of you guys, do this. Alrighty. In the Ottomans, huh? Ottomans getting a little crazy. Forgot to rebuild that. Should have done that a long time ago. We're just going to send that like wave of doom down to Smeagol's base. Ah oh, shit, man, building walls in these areas is so so janky. Alright, we have an army though. Should be able to come over and defend if need be. Got the wall up. Smeagol's obviously gonna destroy all those rams, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, but they're coming. Look, he's trying to wall them, dude! Oh, that's so funny. Alright. So do we have the religious guy going down there to grab the goodies? Man, the Chinese keeps are gnarly, dude. Okay, he's supervising some useless shit. Let's go get him on food. Let's just march all the way down to Smeagol's base. It's gonna keep him busy for a minute. Let me secure some ground, you know. Okay, let's wall that. Set that up too. Rams are very good. Rams are very good, but you can definitely beat them. You didn't, like I had the Rams in your base for like a good couple minutes before you reacted. You could have sent some troops over, but you were very focused, it seemed, on the other fight. Uh, you know what? This might be faster. How are we looking here? LOL. We're still going here. This guy's looking a little spicy. Looks like he wants some of that trade. Okay. Let's get you. But yeah, Rams are definitely OP. Oh my god, there's some idle villagers. Hello. All right. That's a shame. I wasn't watching, and now I'm going to lose this army. You might have to fight this. I mean, we are doing a lot of damage. Chinese armies in general are just crazy strong. We do have to keep helping. Chinese keeps are good. Okay. Can you grab this? 
Let's get you up here to the base. Go drop those goodies off in a very safe spot. And yeah, it seems like we're holding okay. Outstanding. You head up here. And then we have how many relics? Is that going to be five? Very good. Those rams are hilarious. Okay. Can we go scout this area, see what's obstructing us from building here? A couple of you guys can repair this. Getting them repairs. Okay, let's attack. Why can we not build a wall here? Oh, it's because Smeagol had one. Let's torch it down. Come on, keep hold firm. All right. The Ottomans have been routed. We're kind of playing defensively here. Kind of chilling out. Okay, so that looks more or less okay. Now we need something like here. Keep securing that for us. The trade post there is, is a thing. Oh my god, what the hell is this shit? You guys see that? Some... Probably should take a unit down there. Can I well low them? I could, but it would reveal that part of the map, which would not be fun. Okay, farm's looking okay. Not an insane amount, but better than nothing. Smeagol needs to go, for sure. He's, he's, the, he's the biggest threat. Um, if he's trading, especially. I believe he's got some guys down here, so let's just... I need to hockey this, put it on uh, control group 8. Can't let him be getting any wood around here. Although the Ottomans are just hanging out on my doorstep. Otto and red allies? They're like right next to each other and they're not fighting. Hmm, some funny business for sure. Don't leave Orange alone, we will lose. They, I don't know if these guys know who Smeagol is and how good he is at this game. If they leave him be, then, you know, the we're going to be in serious danger. I would, but... Uh, green attacks. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Oh my god, dude. We'll never tell the truth. Ever. <laughs> we have to let them know what dark god they're making deals with before they accept the pacts. Alright, let's pull back to the keeps here. Yeah, the keeps are going to knock him down. Okay. Seems fine. And then we can get these. Hand cannoneers. Those guys. Call it a day. Anyway, we can get that through there, there, there. Knock down Smeagol shit right there. Let's get the freebies. That's the bees. That's the bees. Yes. Give me the kills, precious. Oh, he's trading mid. Okay. It's, it's not as good of a trade as we have, but it's still, it's still uh, something worth noting here. Where's our eco at? 143. Holy shit, our eco's way too sauced. It's probably from all the traders. All right, let's start deleting some of these. Smeagol could come in and cause some disruption. He really could. Which would be very frustrating. Hopefully he's not watching the stream. Um, let's go down here. How do we do this? Yeah, there's no like great way. We can't keep fighting here. But yeah, we need to team up on Gollum. He's just going to become unholy if left to his own devices. Okay, let's finish off this Ottoman blob. 
Okay, so we're starting to get some walls up. Do that and do that, and then we can do a little bit of this. Smeagol's in my base, trolling. We're not spamming tanks. Why are you back, he says? Oh, somebody's attacking him again. I could just, maybe I just kill the Ottomans. Just go all in on it. You know, maybe that's the play. Maybe we just go after him. We have to hope the other guy keeps fighting though and it doesn't become like a weird 2v1 at any point. One of the best ways, yeah, he's probably fully walled off. That's something most people do pretty well. Uh, do I get all my ranged upgrades? I might have forgotten. No, just siege engineering is fine. Hand cannon here is doing good. His great bombard. Being a Chad. I, I, my military, my eco is too big. I need to, I need to cut something. Um, maybe the fishing boats need to go. Although these are, oh, these are just the, those trade ships. Yeah, they're not even doing much for us. I think deleting those is big. That immediately gives us 20 more supply, which is good. Yeah, we had. I remember. I forgot we had that like janky ass trade route, which was just dog shit. Uh, we might do another after this. Maybe like a Thunderdome or something. Okay. We need to just kill Smeagol, like st straight up. Uh, all right. So let's see where the uh, the workers are. He's got a couple in the trees there. Grab you guys. Build this. Come back there. Go t torch his random workers wherever we can. He's trying to trying to block us here. It's fine. We got horsemen going down there to deal with it. This guy needs to calm down, though. He's 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 definitely. Uh, you can't let the rat Smeagol survive. Okay, we got the horsemen going. Let's get these guys moving down here. Looks like we're going to have to fight, though, if he's going to be bombarding our uh, big keep here. Okay, let's chase. This is good splash damage. Alright, outstanding. Get that. Looks like the fight went pretty well. We took down the Bombards here. Once again, we smashed the army. We'll get these guys in. The trader's going, and when that's finished, we will do it. Traders! Go, go, go! Yeah, Smeagol's still... It's not cross... Not quite cross map. Decent though. See, I will tell you truth. Unlike Smeagol. Smeagol's a he's a scheming liar. That's his that's his it's his like uh his way. Okay, we just found more of these. Okay, that's gonna be off cooldown soon. Let's go here. Set up this. He found his workers there in the bushes. Those workers are going to get popped. And then it looks like we're here. Go for it. If you help with orange. Alright, so I'm, I'm making allies. Alright, perfect. So I have an alliance now, of sorts. We'll see how long it, it holds together, though, is the question. We will see. Um, we need to delete more walls so we can't just come and rebuild it with one worker so easily. We have a couple workers of our own. Alright, so we blocked his wall here. Now we come in and we kill these guys. Kill these guys and go over the top, kill these ones. Outstanding. So his wall is going to be a failure. Thankfully we brought some bills down there, pretty funny. Alrighty, so let's do this. It's probably worth it to just stabilize all that anyways. And let's hit 8. See where he's trying to sneak in more rats? Yes. Okay, let's move our army down here. We probably just chill in this little breach here for now. 
Orange, the time has come, he says. Oh, man. Uh huh? Yes. Yes. Let's get you, 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 you. I let him have trade, so, you know, this is a, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. So now we need to just bully Spiegel. We need to keep him in check because he's he's too too much of a schemer, dude. He's really good. You know, it's it's a it's a thing of respect. There's no gold left on the map outside of trade. Okay, let's. Uh, do we have the that landmark is so useful, man. Being able to like sn snoop on everyone, it's crazy good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. What do we got here? Yeah, we're we're knocking our way through. I'm gonna take a normal army to fight him, and then I'm gonna replace it with a fire lancer stack. You will die someday, he says. Let's take down all of his rat towers. Okay, so he's got a couple dudes hanging there. It looks like his gremlins are over there. Our army's gonna get wiped out, but if we can do any damage, I'm happy. Pin him in the corner of the map. Looks like we almost got the wall here. I, I think we didn't quite get it, or maybe we did. Oh, he owns that wall there. That's what it is. Okay. Do a little wall exchanges. Smeagol's Dread Empire. We've arrived at its front door. Okay, so he's got a couple guys over here. So we need to go hunt them down here. Hunt them down here. Yes, yes. And you guys can just start on Lumber. It looks like Red's in his base right now. So let's go further down, see if we can find an entrance. Oh, hello. Smeagol probably is like straight up playing, preparing for a wonder with how good he is. Do we have any more stone anywhere? I know, I think we still have a gold node up here. Yeah, and a big stone node. This is nice. Okay, so I think that's the last of his little rat towers that he has. And Smeagol's got to be getting swarmed. They're going to come after me after this. It's obvious. That's... You know, because I'm playing China, so it usually will draw the ire of many. Alright, let's move in. Do we have our landmark? We don't. It's on cooldown at the moment. So if he tries anything, I got, like, my trade route pretty well secured now. I got, like, spring towers to pop his shit. His reputation precedes him. Hmm. Let them kill Smeagol and wonder. They're, they might not be able to kill Smeagol 2v1. Smeagol is, is so good that you need to make sure you got him dead. Like he he is like he's like the he's like the villain in every movie who like maybe escapes in the beginning. <laughs> like he might be able to even hold just the two of them. Okay, let's move you guys up. Okay. Nice, nice. Ooh, we just melted a whole bunch of his army. Is that a Barcher right there? It sure is. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ugh. Okay. So we can start planning a little something something up here, maybe. I'm not sure. That might be the best spot. Okay, let's just plaster these guys. Plaster those longbows. Nice, nice. Big splash damage. We're helping. It's under heavy, heavy pressure here while we're just accruing wealth. Pretty much the dream situation. All right. So now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the dreaded Fire Lancer incursion. Okay, 
we'll, we'll ride. We'll the Rohirrim will we'll ride once more. I feel like we need more, more production here. Yeah, do we need more trade? I don't think so. I think we're we're okay on the gold department. So let me just do a quick little scout. It looks like Smeagol is straight up pinned in his base with like no wood. He's just barely holding on. So maybe some fire lancers will seal the deal. Okay, so if this were to go right here, it would be basically him. Okay. All right, I don't hate this. It's quite a bit we're spending there, but it's all right. We can uh, we actually are mining stone right now, so. All right, let's go down. Have a little fun. See if you can ride into the old base and just do some raiding. 50 Fire Lancers of Doom. There's a wild sheep up there. <laughs> Alright, so we finished that off. Is there any other stone around that we can grab? There's probably one in my base. There always is. Yeah, there's a stone node right there. Cool. We'll take it, and then we're riding down. Landmark's on cooldown. And the Dread Legion of Fire Lancers descends. Wish you could like see the spacing of a building without like actually slapping it down. Smeagol's gonna be hard to kill. He is gonna be hard to kill. Uh, I like the positioning up here because red would the, here they can both push west easily together. But the, uh, green is in the way here, so their armies are going to bump, play bumper cars, basically. So that's my uh, school of thought. It, you know, and I also have water, so I can use, like, navy if I want to, and, like, the choke points, and, uh, you know, do a lot of neat stuff. A lot of neat stuff, indeed. Okay, it seems like red is still here with his great bombards. Smeagol's armies are out in open field. If he's not careful, I'm going to ride right past him, though. You better hurry, Smeagol. Okay, we'll just attack his archers and stuff, do a little bit of damage. We'll ride. I'm going to take some L's, it's fine. All just to buy a little bit of time. What the hell is this? Green's up here? This is weird. Okay, let's take our Fire Lancers in our base, which I believe we can send some over there. Can help out against Smeagol's troops here. Trade where we can. Alrighty, so that's good. 25,000. Able to take those down. Let's see where he's outside of his base, if he has anything. Looks like he's lumbering over there. It's a weird spot. Clearly I'm blocked here by something, so we need to see what that looks like. We can come here and do like a split push of Rams on Smeagol. Oh, he was building towers here. Okay. Build this in. Let the Fire Lancers come in and help. Ah, oh, okay. That's why it wasn't able to be finished. Got it. Got it. Yeah, we've had some good trading. We've had. Okay, let's go after this. Okay. You guys come down here. Set that up. And then, does he actually have buildings over there? No, those are left over from the days of old. Yeah, let's see how that would fit there. Can we finish him off? You know, we're trying. It ain't easy. He's got to be resource starved. I mean, he's losing quite a bit. Got his wild ass ram with a couple troops in it. It's pretty funny. All right. So let's make fire lancers and horsemen. 
Fear me, he says. See, he's not. He's he's playing into the villain role, which is good for us. Uh, do we have any wood over here we can actually get going on? Not quite. Okay. Is he still just trying to build walls out here? Maybe. Okay, let's do this. All right. 70 Fire Lancers, Def not. I need an opening into his base. Okay, let's do this. Ride down here. We have this random tower right there, which is a little bit concerning. Probably need some... Oh, he's going Wonder. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, so we gotta just go all in on him now. Uh, where's his Wonder going? Is it in the back corner? Alright, boys. Let's do it. Yeah, this is good. Because now, now you know, everyone's gonna unify against him. And uh, hopefully we can get the job done. We meet him in the pass. All three of those guys. And I'm ready for the counter Wonder, too. His is risky. I mean, he's, he's definitely rolling the dice a little bit, but it's all good. It's fun. Okay. So we need to make some Fire Lancers. Let's go. Hopefully the other two players are attacking him. Surprised he was able to buy enough stone to do that. I'm actually genuinely surprised. This is why you have to kill this Meagle. He'll act like he's hurt, but he truly he's never truly down. Alright, so we come over here. We actually have a good angle on it. Depends on how he reacts. If red if the other two are helping, then then we, we're in good shape. I think the three of us can do it. I do. Red should have armies nearby. England is really good at doing this though. They're really good at these like corner wonders. Red is here with an army. Um we will rebuild in the corner here. Okay, looks like there's a breach in that wall. Oh, there's a English army coming down here. That's not good. Uh, we need both of them to attack. I have a feeling they're running into like roadblocks with one another. Like they're having some problems. All right, so let's grab you guys. Do this. Come down here. We need to grab a bunch of bills from somewhere or other. We got seven here. That's probably enough. And just set up right here and start pushing. All right, so yeah, I don't know where the other guys are. Without, if they're not coordinating well, we could lose this. We could definitely lose this. Sacred sites aren't really an option. And uh, now we are ready to go over here. I suppose I could have slapped down the wonder, but I'm I'm a little bit was a little bit being cautious because I didn't want to deal with English siege and also the other two. Okay, green, don't kill my shit. Horseman coming down here. Let's set up. We can do a keep right here. I don't know, this looks like it's somebody's abandoned landmark. Yeah, and we just do our push from here. Mostly Fire Lancers and Horsemen, but we should be able to get some good action in. Alright, so let's get Archer Ranges first and foremost, so we can get like hand cannoneers and stuff. Gathering up. Here we go, baby. Well, there's not five opponents. There's three. It's 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 a three v one right now. Hopefully, our uh, our distinguished allies are doing well. Okay, down, take down these vills. See if we can slip through. Get in there. Do any damage. We're gonna have like some good momentum here in a second. We need to just finish this keep. If we finish the keep, then we're fine. If not, then we're gonna be really really behind. All right, so we're in here. Smeagol doing a little bit of dual prong defenses, but I think our keep will hold. Maybe, huh? Maybe, maybe. All right, let's see if we can ride in. He's, I know he's got multiple layers, but we're gonna see if we can find our way in. Our allies have a lot of man at arms. That's about it. Oh yeah, we're having trouble setting up a beachhead. We need to. We need to get like a lot more bills. Come down here, and let's go about here and defend. See if we can. And let's go defend our keep, the horsemen. It's slowly wearing them down, but English troops are very tanky, man. I think we have these cannon towers over here, which are doing well. Yeah, and he's got water on this side, which isn't good. Shit, I think he's gonna win. We're having a really rough start, like getting our feet, getting our feet under us. 
Okay, the burning oil is done. Cannon emplacement's gonna be finishing soon. Okay, let's repair it for as long as we can, then jump back in there. Got the horseman coming. Repair. Uh, and I do have more bills on the way down, but they're a little ways off. I have them streaming from across the map. All right. Come on, boys. I didn't think he would have enough for a wonder, to be completely honest, under all the dress he was under. Very, I mean, he must have been hoarding somewhere. I mean, but again, I guess he's England, so he's got infinite resources. Um, let's take you down, take you down. The keep is going to fall. Not a huge deal. The villagers will be here soon. All right, so let's start setting it up. Do that. Go here. We got a horseman. So we're going to just start spamming out these siege workshops. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? All these random villagers here. All right, so let's get that going so we can get the old engine rolling. Yeah, this is... Yeah, Burning Oil seems like it sucks now. Okay, there's two players attacking from that side. Enemy capturing Sacred Sight. That's not too helpful, but it's, it could be worse, I guess. And it gives him a little bit of fuel to work with. Okay, let's start the do hosting. Get you and you and Siege Workshops. Alrighty. Come on, boys. Set up that beachhead. The rams are coming. The wave of rams. Let's go, like, scout and see what this situation looks like. I don't think China has any sort of a special ram or anything like that. I don't think they do. What have we got? Nine minutes left? Ten minutes? Okay. Hopefully he doesn't accidentally come down here and hit me. Alright. Start getting you guys going. We got all the military infrastructure coming up, so now we can start pushing proper. Hopefully Green doesn't get any ideas. Build towers to make it so it's harder to rewall. Looks like Red's in there. His corner is like, it's straight up in the corner though, so it's going to take a hot minute to get to it. Yeah, Trap Push is going to be like the last timing we do. Green, no. Green, leave me alone. There's like a million different ways you can attack. Alright, so the Rams need to just keep going and then we just swarm with the cavalry. Have you guys take down these walls here. Okay, so a little bit of split pushing is fine, but we're in his base pretty hard here. And now this is where our allies need to shine. They need to they need to do their heavy lifting. Okay, do we still have any bills here? Not really shit. Okay, we need to keep more guys coming down here. I I think my allies might not be effectively pushing, because the fact that he's just chilling here with his basically his full army making me think otherwise. Alright, let's we'll slap this down back here. Yeah, I mean, I see like a couple random man at arms coming in every now and then. Yeah. You guys do this. Nest the bees back here. Oh my god, these freaking villagers. It's like AFK villagers from the fallen players. Yeah, is there anyone else? Shit. You two are attacking, yeah? I don't know if they are. Okay, we just melted his army pretty hard with those nested bees. Hey, every resource we can drain from him is, is something, right? Alright, so we got the keep up. And uh, let's go slap the keep a little bit further up here. Take our military. Get nest the bees. We're really rich, so we should just be building good quality armies. Red, use the water. Sail, land. Yeah, so I don't... Red, according to my ally, Red red might not be attacking. Which is guaranteed we lose. Smeagol, you need three people to kill him. Especially in a corner. I might have been able to hold if I went wonder. I was a little too cautious, I think. Alright, so let's do this. We got the keep being dropped, and then we will drop one over here. Okay, Bill's coming. Let's butcher him. Uh, I've been attacking all game. Come on. Good. Hope you are now. That's the important part. Alright, Rams. The Rams. Those little walls aren't going to do too much, thankfully. 
No, 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 green. Green, no. Attack, take a different angle. Oh, it's like the one choke point where everybody wants to attack in. It's kind of kind of rough. Okay, we got six minutes left. Now let's get these walls. Do this. I'm trying not to hit him. I'm trying not to. But yeah, unfortunately, he just killed a bunch of my bills. Shit. Come on, villagers. Get it. Smeagol's probably sitting in his base with quite a bit. Let's do this. You guys attack. You guys attack here. Let's knock down some more layers of walls. So now we're making a little bit of progress. This is good. The rams are getting in there. Hopefully he's not able to seal the mean breach there. We're going to set up a cannon tower to prevent that. Alright. Sources are being hammered here. We're getting closer. We're almost within trebuchet range, actually. We're doing like a little keep crawl as we go. It's very cute. Definitely will help us uh, maintain some progress. Okay, so the Barcher Palace is now within range. We're going to have a keep up here in a moment. Get these guys back. Keep the rams going through the walls. Ah, shit. This is this could be... We could get stuff back here. Green, come on! Stop him! The keep might finish. I don't know. It, it depends if he's shooting the workers or not. Oh, okay, good really good. We might actually be able to hold his army at bay here. If green comes down and helps, yeah. Come on, green. Attack him! Attack him! Alright, Rams. Get through the walls here. Okay. Do this. And next up, what we do is we pull these bills. We get in here and we set up some uh, workshops for the trebuchet push. It's basically our last hurrah. And we just knock these walls down with the Rams. Should be okay. All right, old faithful, knock them down. The Ottomans are nearby. They're coming with the big goodies. So let's go this way. And if Red is making progress, then we might get him here, actually. He's got four minutes, but we're getting danger close. All right, so let's knock this down. Knock you guys, you guys. Cool, you guys got your job. Progress. Progress is being made, baby. Get in. Clear out some more space. All right. And these is where this is where we start making trebs. Okay, Spiegel seems to be pathing his whole army into us now. It's it's like we're we're uh, we're the the big the big scary here. So this is an opportunity for my allies. Oh man, never mind. They're dying to my nest of peace. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know where Red is. I honestly don't. I have no idea. Okay, let's get some more Nesta Bees coming in here. Let's Nicholas Cage him. He's taking horrific casualties, but I think he might be able to hold. Definitely have enough to spam a ton of Siege. Okay, I don't have any way of really getting his Mangoes here. Hmm. Three minutes left. It's getting real tight. Okay, boys, come on. Let's move in. Loose formation. Snipe these mangoes. Snipe the mango and snipe the mango. Outstanding. Get you around the back and you just keep clearing wall space. Let's get up on the walls here so we get damage resistance and just shoot. All right, so you guys keep building. I'm down here, down here. All right, we're in. I mean, that's good progress. Let's move these bombards up. Oh no, we we probably want to. We slap down a tower here. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, in the choke point. Okay, how long have we got? Two minutes left. Okay, now it's time for Trebs. We gotta get the trebs out relatively soon if we want to go for the miracle snipe. Okay. Set up a tower here. Get the rams pushing in. I don't know how it's going for everybody else. I really don't. No idea. Could be good, could be bad. Who the hell knows? So the trebs are on the way. 
out of resources, he says, but nobody's on his, his, his wonder yet. So he might hold it here. Let's see. He's going to be pulling villagers soon to, to do, do their thing. Okay, here they come. Bill's being pulled for the rams. Ooh, that's really close, guys. We got a lot of trebs popping in. Okay, let's just click the trebs. Have them go down on the wonder. So that's pretty much all we got here. Ooh, this uh, keep looks like it's going to fall, too. Come on, cannon towers. Is anybody else nearby? Shit. He's out of resources, but uh, that doesn't seem to be truthful. He still seems to have pretty good resources. Yeah, he's, he's getting onto my, my trebs here. Uh, we got one minute left, guys. This is looking pretty rough. Got rams going for it. Maybe he doesn't have enough bills to stop him. Who knows? All right, trebs. Go nail him down. We're really close. We were really close, actually. Shit, we got rams all up on that shit. Let's go down here, see if we could uh, get those rams. We need to save him. Okay, 32 seconds. Wow. Let's let me in. Let me in. Okay, you got two rams on there. Let's get down those villagers. Oh my god, 20 seconds left. Jeez. All right, boys. We might have gotten it. It's another 10 seconds, give or take. Wow, this is close, dude. Oh my god, we're like a couple seconds away from getting it. Oh. Yeah, my, my allies just got in. Oh, man. Look how close we were. Oh, GG. Well played. That's a great way to end it. That's an epic ending, man. Epic. Holy shit. Yeah, man. We should have pulled our wonder off, but... I don't know if I could have held. I'm not as good as him, so it would have been uh, it would have been hard. Dude, we oh we were so <laughs> look it's even destroyed right now. <laughs> How are the allies doing? Hey, they made some progress. It looks like you finally ran out of resources. GG man, well played. That was that was a really good match. Super good match. Smeagol showing why he's the true villain. And next time we do in our game, you need to remember he needs to die first. <laughs> You can't listen to him. You can't pity him, dude. You can't. Yeah, I thought we might have had it too, dude. It was really close, dude. We were a couple seconds away. GG, well played, man. He earned the hell out of that game. We were. He did a. The most impressive part of his play was how well he delayed our infrastructure being set up. Um, cause see, I had all this forward infrastructure, and I don't think my allies did. No. No, it doesn't look like it. So they were probably moving armies from the north and really slowly reinforcing, like instead of having stuff like right up in his face here. I think that's what happened. GG, well played, dude. Oh, so good. The constant rewalling the boat invasions back Seb's old game was biting my ankles. <laughs> you played well, Prime. Don't worry. Jim Jam, thank you for the 30. Appreciate it. The hold, dude. I know. I know. I always feel bad for Smeagol when he's getting teamed up on and then he wins. I know. <laughs> hey, Jim, I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Yeah, they were they were kind of in with small armies, but I don't think my allies had forward infrastructure. See, I had a whole base. This is how you have to press wonders. And I don't see any other bases nearby. They're like there needed to be a base right here, like pushing rams and just nonstop into his base. And then there needed to be another base right here uh, pushing in because it was basically just me with the infrastructure. So it's all good. You know, everyone's learning. Who cares? We ain't judging. It's all good. Now you'll see this replay and you'll you'll know the way to do it. Yeah, we could have just slapped on a wonder earlier, but I didn't have enough villagers up there to race them. I only had like 16. I was doing a really conservative wonder uh, defense here. It would have been a good spot too. I don't I don't know. I probably should have just wondered as soon as I had the resources. It's something that I need to be better at. I always am really cautious. I, I want to like make sure the win is like guaranteed before I go for it, which um, cost me games. Just lucky no one had... Yeah, I didn't need to buy stone. I had like 6,000 myself. It was a pretty good amount. Hmm. Great ending. So if you guys enjoyed it, that's going to be it for tonight. Hands are a little fried after those two matches. Uh, we could do a 1v1. I could do a 1v1 match real quick. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll queue up. I'll queue up for an old ranked game. Let me let me stretch out the old hands first. I'm down to play a 1v1 game. We haven't done that in a long time. So let's, uh, let's fire it up. Okay, let's go here. I placed in like low platinum and I've been climbing my way back up. So... 
Granted, my ELO is still unfortunately um, diamond rank, it seems, because I'm playing mostly diamond players, but it's it's been good. We've had some good even matches. Oh. I'm going to head to bed. Thanks for the fun. Hey, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yes, the dreaded 1v1 match. <laughs> I like sacred victories. I can't lie, dude. I can't lie. Let's see. Let's see if we can hang up here. This is pushing it a little bit. I'm taking uh, tomorrow off, though, so we'll be okay. Ah, oh, we're facing the dreaded Pied Piper, eh? Um, High View's a really good roost map. What do I want to play? Do I want to play HRE? I don't know, man. English ready? is like the Come ultimate... <laughs> English is like the ultimate mouth breathing, um, which is always easy to do. I've been trying to improve on my Chinese game, though. It's been very fun. We just played them. I'm kind of warmed up with China. Let's give it another try. Good luck, have fun. Good Peace. luck. Have I fun. played Mali in a really epic 1v1 the other day. You know what I hate the most in this game are mirror matches, so... Oh my god! I went roost to avoid the mirror match and homie just comes in with a... with a Chinese pick here. Lovely. Oh god. I hate mirror matches. It's it's like when you have so many cool factions, it's so lame to just like have the same thing. Do you stream AoE 4 often? Yeah, a couple times a week. On the, once the DLC comes out, it'll be even more. Okay, let's go looking here. I was about to say, oh, I hate mirror matches, and boom, surprise. Chinese mirror match. The timing, I know. Right as I was saying it, too, it's really hilarious. Okay. I'm not sure how we want to play this. I got some big schemes to do. It would be funny to do like a barbecue rush or something. He's probably going to do that to me, and I'm just going to be like, help me, I'm too weak. Okay, finding sheep. Roos are very good on this map, though, from what I've heard. Alright. See what we can find in the bushes here. I really hope this doesn't go too long. It could, though. <laughs> My hands are pretty beat up from that FFA, but I, I was craving a little 1v1 action, so... I'll do a 1v1 stream, too, next time. Yeah. I was thinking of doing like a King of the Hill, a community King of the Hill where, you know, someone keeps playing until they lose kind of thing. Kind of like what I do for Total War, you know, I, I always thought that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll see though. Okay, let's go down here, see what we can find. Supervise, get the good food going. Yeah, thanks man, thanks for joining Water. Yeah, no, we, we stream Age of Empires a bit. Total War is our main jam, but um, you know that, that could always change in the future. You never know how the ebbs and flows. Age is something I really enjoy. Like those FFA games are like the spice of life, man. They're so much fun. So close and yeah, it's just uh, it's it's fun. Okay, let's come over here. Get ready to get on some gold. Go drop off those sheep. Have you guys been following like the pro scene for this game? What has that been looking like lately? I'm gonna have a pretty slow age up since I'm going for a fair amount of wood, but there's a there's a reason for that, and I don't know if it'll pay off, but I'm hoping it will. One and one, turn in, do this and this. Alright, let's go drop the sheep off. I would say a pretty good sheep haul. Yeah, the Chinese tax system is pretty fun. Definitely pretty fun. Okay, we're bringing in the old sheep. Just in time, too. All right, now let's go scout and see what he's up to. King of the Hill would take three days. It, would, it wouldn't be like a super long one. It would just be, you know, something fun. Something fun indeed. I'm going to do something very simple this game because I don't want a long game, so we'll see how it works. But where are the rat tactics? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Rat tactics are harder for me because I have a lot of hand pain when I play, so I don't like to, like... Yeah, it's it's not so much my playstyle, but you know it can be quite good. Let's collect some taxes. Go look for some sheep here. Very close. Let's turn in. And all right, so let's get the Imperial Academy down. Get four dudes on that. Let's go see what he's up here. 
And we can switch a couple of you onto the old wood because we're going to need a fair amount of it. Although with the build we're going, probably staying on gold is probably good. I get that. I'm still a noob. Oh, it's all good, man. Being, being a noob is the spice of life, man. It's fun. You know, the, the early days. Yeah, it's always always a good time, my friend. Okay. Uh, let's get you over here. Let's come around the top, see what the build looks like. Collect some taxes. Probably, I would assume, aging up around the same time. Unless he's doing something really different. Oh, he's got his village. Yeah, we got the Imperial Academy coming, which is cool. Alright, let's jump on food here. Let's do this. This tax man is still collecting. Now we can get another tax man here soon. All right, tax man. Ah, I beat him to the age up. Big plays, dude. Big plays. MLG China. All right, scoping out the scene, seeing what he's up to. Looks like a barbican being set up pretty aggressively in the woods here. Okay. Let's supervise our primaries. That's a very, very early one right there. Very early shenanigans. Alright, so how much is that to do? Is this? Okay. Let's be sneaky here if we can. Sneaky, sneaky. You guys like the sneaky, sneaky? I know you like it. We're going for the ultimate haggardness right now. Okay. Need to get a little bit more going here. Get that going. Supervise it. All right. Cool, man. A cursed wolf beast chasing us, dude. Thing is OP. He's, he's probably getting a little sus now, as the kids would say. Uh-huh. Okay, so we got our military units hustling over and the stupid wolves attacking them. You guys weren't expecting this, were you? The barbecue rush. Oh, he's pulling a lot, too. That pull is not going to go well for him, because I already have archers here, so... Oh, is he trying to just torch it down? Uh oh, he's already got horsemen out. That's not good. Probably should have pulled more vills. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, it's not working. I failed. That's probably GG. I, I don't even know how many vills I killed there, but... Maybe if we can get this barbecue up, maybe. Oh, it's so close. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's lure him away from it. Oh, God. That went so south. Panic. I know. Panicking is, is exactly what I'm doing right now. We're going the distance, baby! The barbecue will stand firm! Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Alright. So we got that barbecue online. So now you guys need to go back and find a food source somewhere. If possible. I ha Have I ever told you how much I hate these wolves in the forest? Okay, so we got the barbecue in here. At least that's going down. I lost the villagers, but it's not like... I'm the only one who lost villagers. You know, he paid the troll toll a little bit on the villager department also. He does have horsemen. Um, we can try doing a little sniping. Yes. Alright, so these guys are setting up their little camp here. We have the barbican trolling. Okay, let's just keep idling whatever we can. 
Need to get some gold for the uh, for the other boys for the Jugnu. Okay, he's still collecting. He's not mining gold right now. Okay. Are we still in this game? Like a little bit? Like just a little bit? Let's lure him into the barbecue. Keep chasing here. See if we can get that Imperial official. I need to get Rams up to start taking down his villages and shit. Come on, give me those bills. Okay, here comes the horseman. You have a critical mass, might be able to straight up kill him. Okay, let's go here. Okay, he's pumping out horses now, probably with supervision. Come on, boys. Stay in this game. Stay in it. Get the wheelbarrows. These officials are just so close to dying there. Okay, keep picking. Never say die attitude. Okay, he's not going to run to the barbecue. He's a clever girl. Come to the barbecue. Okay, so next up we need to get a... Uh... Yeah, we need to keep harassing his eco over here. I think he's still... No, he's, he actually moved his villagers away, it looks like. Okay, so this is going down, which is good. That's going to be annoying for his supply situation. We got a freebie. We're going to basically just save up for the Ramstein. Stay in this game. Not give up. Okay, wheelbarrow's on the way. Let's get siege engineering so we can build some rams and start getting real crazy over here. Got a fair amount, but if we can just keep picking his archers, that's going to be really big. Because then my spears will just cackle at him. Alright. Let's keep making Zhugnu also. Alright, so let's creep over here. Okay, so we're sniping down his archers pretty good. He's moving into the barbecue. Don't know how that trade went, honestly. Kind of hard to tell. Okay, so now we just pull back and start making rams and amassing a legion. You guys need to go and find some berry bushes up in the promised land here. We do have Song Dynasty, so we've done a little bit of disruption. And then we just start taking down his landmarks, and hopefully that will yield some forbidden fruit. We have keep throwing guys in here on accident. I normally don't rush. I'm normally more of a macro player, but this, this is fun. It's a it's good practice, too. It's definitely good practice. He, he's probably not getting gold, maybe. Okay, let's get you. Gather you guys back. Let's do this. We do have the barbecue advantage. Um, let's go ahead and get the ranged defense. Keep ramming that shit down. Need to optimize that. 
Let's go around here, 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 and here, and just do a little scouting to see like where he's getting his resources from. He could also have someone down here and here. Yeah, he's losing buildings. Fighting under the barbecue is definitely not fun. Okay, we're about to get 250. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's making rams of his own. Wow, okay. Any upgrades coming along? Yeah, we'll get our Zhug new upgrades, which are very good. Okay, we do have the ram advantage. Ram, let's see if the OP rams can win us today. You want to fight under here? Okay, I'm down. Keep these rams going. His army might just be big enough to do it. We'll see. He's got a lot of archers, too. Okay. Yeah, I think he barely edges it out. My rams are unfortunately not going to be getting there. Oh, so this is where he's cackling. Okay, so he's got stuff over there. I wonder if there's any recovering from this. It's going to be incredibly hard because I'm going to lose all that ground. Okay, let's get the rams going. I mean, he is idling bills on the bright side of life. You know, that's going down. Let's run those guys off into the Shadow Realm. Uh, you guys need to pull back to the base. Barbecue is still here. Let's see if we can get a couple of these guys going. He's still chasing with all those villagers. This is all idle time, you know. Let's see if we could pick off some more of those guys. Okay. Yeah, he's losing bills. Definitely losing some bills. Let's make some more spears here. Do we have enough? Okay, so now he's counterattacking. Um, what do we have to defend? Yeah, not a whole lot. Okay, so we destroyed that landmark. This ram has gotten away, so let's sneak around the back, see what we can do. Yeah, I think he's got us, honestly. The, the timing push just didn't work very well. It wasn't executed very smoothly. Um, let's pull you guys back. Lure you archers to the TC here. Yeah, did we just, like, rely on this? Okay, so you guys have done that, so let's get you up here. Into the deep woods. There's a lot of places to hide on this map, for sure. You can do, like, some weird split pushes and whatnot. Yeah, all right. So let's get you guys going up here. We tried a barbecue rush, and it didn't work too well. It was my execution was obviously the problem. Not the beloved barbecue rush's fault. I just didn't want to play a long mirror match. All right. How are we looking here? Okay, Rams. Mass Horseman would be good if I could get the funds for it, but I'm basically just dead in the water right now. A lot of guys on, on these resources, but... Alright. Put you guys down here, take this thing down. His villager count's gotta be healthy. He's repairing his landmark now. He's just all in on that archery range right there. It's pretty funny. Let's go up here, see if you do a little harass, get lucky maybe. Hey, a couple free horsemen, perhaps? Alright guys, we're back We're back in the in the game here. The horsemen will come. The dreaded high view hiding. Okay, let's head over here, do a little bit of harass. He doesn't have too much ram action, just this one. And, uh, yeah, let's just start torching this down. See if we can get a village. That would be pretty nice. Alright, so we're just gonna make a shit ton of horsemen and hope he doesn't have any spears. Because he's just making archer, um... Yeah, archer, basically. Head into the bushes, get some berries, take down the village, maybe supply block him if we're lucky. Oh boy. Uh, I'll play Japan for sure. My favorite to play when I'm like trying to win is Holy Romans. Holy Romans are like my tryhard sieve. You know, just all the all the cheese. With the relics and stuff. 
We got that going down. Looks like he upgraded that tower. That's pretty funny. Let's go start picking stuff off. He's literally shooting this building to death. Kind of gives me like some hope that I might have a chance here. Stranger, stranger comebacks have happened for sure. All right, so let's intercept any reinforcements we can. He's still not getting rams. We could try and repair the uh, barbecue of the sun. That would be really funny, actually. All right, let's go up and harass a little bit. I feel like we're like still alive for some reason. It's weird. Like I feel like we're not completely out of this game, you know. Even though we probably are, by all rights. It's just uh, it's one of those weird ones. All right, so he's got archers and rams now, so we need to we need to get some work in. Keep pressing the bills on the flanks. Get this one. Yeah, we're getting quite a bit. Although those arrows are adding up for sure. Okay, let's buy as much time as we can to harass here. It's a single ram. Okay, so let's take you guys and you guys and go see if we can do some funny business down in his base. Pull you around. We're gonna go try and rebuild the Barbican, which would be really funny if we can pull that off. But I think we need to defend the base now with our horsemen. See if you have a, enough critical mass to defend. All right. Oh, he found it. Okay, that's not gonna work. We need to go save some bills. Okay, losing houses, it's fine. We can make villages. Uh, up here, we got a little horseman raiding, which is cute. You guys come down, can hit this food. Actually, we don't really need that, we just need wood. What does this army comp look like? Yeah. Alright, so we need to send you guys up there. Yeah, you picked off a couple of bills, so let's get these guys. Sweep down on this army here. You guys get in the tower. And uh, head back towards these bushes, maybe. Alright, so we should be able to sweep these archers, honestly. I mean, we have a lot of horsemen here. Yeah, so we'll see what that fight ends up looking like. I mean, we should win this, right? He's got... We have so many horsemen. Yeah, that's, that's a nice little pick for us. Granted, we might need to... Yeah, I don't know. He's not going to kill the TC super quick, so... Trying to panic rebuild that would have been really funny, but we do have a lot of horsemen. He's for sure going to switch to spears now. Looks like a couple of random units there are going to die to our towers. Yeah, I don't know how we're like in this game. We, we th threw really hard in the beginning, but now he's kind of letting us back in, so... Maybe, just maybe, we have a chance here. Oh, wow, he's still just making the same comp. That gives me that gives me some hope. We can just keep like out trading his armies like this. That's gonna be pretty big. Okay, let's grab some of you guys, do this, so we can start working on a second TC to try and get back in the game. Keep hustling down here. He's he's rushing Castle Age, obviously. Uh, that's not in the books for me right now. He is losing a fair amount of bills down there. He's not noticing, which is good. Are those? Is he tier three? Oh, he is Castle Shit. All right, let's do as much damage as we can. He's getting lancers now, so we need to make spears. And uh, let's just keep making these. I mean, that's a lot of eco damage he's taking, guys. I see villagers just flying all over the place. Yeah, I mean, man, that can't be good for him. It's a hell of a lot of villagers going down. All right, but now he's got like a critical mass of nastiness, so we need to we need to move on. Yeah, okay, he's got a little raid going on here. Nice play. 
The dreaded horseman counter raid. Let's head back. Do this. Get the horseman to go here and here. He has the castle age advantage on us, but he did just lose a hell of a lot of workers. All right. Is there any more like resources that I can kind of grab around here? This is deer camp's better than nothing, I suppose. So now we need to just mass spearmen and basically just try and get a second TC. All right. Where are we at? Okay, let's get you guys, and then you guys, and you guys, and you guys. Go here, here, and here. Pull you in. And, uh, yeah, we see what we can do. We see what we can do, indeed. He is losing some random knights. Hmm. You have the farm economy, too, which is kind of fun. Okay, keep you guys in the front. Keep you guys defending here. Holy shit, he just got Imperial Age? What? <laughs> okay, my attacks might not have been as effective as I thought. Holy shit, he's Imperial Age. How is that possible? I guess I was that far behind. Yeah, it sure seems that way. I was like, okay, he's going to be in Castle for a while. So maybe, just maybe, we can make something happen here. After our pitiful failed barbecue rush. Uh-huh. Get you guys coming in. Let's go back and do this. We got some spears. Should be able to handle that bad boy. Matter of fact, let's go down and troll his gold again. See if we can do. He's just going to have the dreaded Imperial Age Knights, dude. I'm just going to be here with my potato feudal units. Part of me is like, yeah, I wonder what his, true, his actual situation's like. I, I'm, I actually want to see. I'm genuinely curious at the end of the game what it's going to show. Okay, we see Spirit Way. He's probably down here. Look at us counter harassing. His Lancers are still Castle Age tech, which is nice. Holy shit, he's got a lot of villagers. Oh, dear God in heaven. GG. Hey, at least we put up a fight. Um, my build sucked. I should have just macroed. That's what I'm good at. Oh, man. <laughs> Good yeah. game. Well played. GG. Well played, Pied Piper. That was a fun one, dude. We'll do a 1v1 stream soon. And we'll do, we'll do try hard. We'll do like the civs I'm good at. Um, we'll play some HRE and stuff. What was he? I mean, was he on 2TC? He must have been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this guy was like, okay. My, I did not do that much damage. He he. It seemed like I did, but let's look at the economy here. Uh, where can we see the villager timeline? Yeah, we didn't. He was just, we didn't even make a dent. This is when we harassed him in H3, right? When we killed like 15 villagers. It didn't make a difference. GG, well played, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll be back with a 1v1 stream soon. Don't know when, but um, sometime in the next few days, we'll whip one out and it'll be fun. Yeah, we gambled on the barbecue rush and it failed. It was almost really good. Like, we we just needed to get, like, his horsemen needed to be a tad bit slower and I think we won that game. It was fun. GG, guys. See you next time. Take yourselves away and... Uh, Take yourself. Oh, what the hell? My brain is all over the place. I need dinner. I need to go eat, man. Take care of yourself. That's what I meant to say. And we'll be back streaming sometime. I don't know. Not tomorrow, but most likely on Sunday. Cheers, my friends. Adios. Great FFAs today. It was a lot of fun. See ya.